You have like Jibby ulti that's like 600. Costs 600 and like you can't use it twice in a row. And you can't use it until round 3. Then you have Bloodhound ultimate that's like... It costs like nothing, you know? <laughs> it gives you 3 Qs for free. Like, oh, that's so stupid. What were they thinking? <laughs> Any anyone who even plays ranked would be able to tell that's too strong immediately. That's why I'm really worried about respawn. Is like their playtest team is seemed really incompetent. Anyways, my point my point to all this is just that the Apex Arena just needs a little bit more work. It's basically a last circle simulator. This is kind of cool, this tower. Yeah, it has great potential. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy playing it more than the BR. For sure. And I'll, I'll probably enjoy playing it ranked if I'm not too busy. Uh, playing, you know, on the stream. Or we'll, be doing, be dead. we'll be doing the late night streams. So, Magneto, he like, he's like the leader of all these lichens, hey? This has gotta be like the big combat section of the game. No barrels this time. Might be able to get a big collateral here, let's see. Oh, they literally bounce? It's like the game doesn't want me to exploit it. Ooh. Whoa! <gasps> they need to, um, for these sections, they need to block off, like, narrow corridors like this, you know, like... Like, when I enter this area, this should be blocked off. Like, it, so I can force me to move around and use the environment. Instead, I'm just like... It's like fish in a barrel, you know? Because you have these cool things in this environment, like... There's barricades, there's flower, you know, environmental things. Explosive barrels, but... I don't need to use it because... You know? I could purposely, like, not use it, but I'd feel stupid if I did. This is, yeah, this is definitely the com big combat section of the game, though, for sure. We fought more monsters here than we have, like... Oh! That's what I'm talking about. My, my complaints have been answered. Idiot, come from. Oh, I swear I blocked it. I'm busting. Did I block it? No, I didn't. Oh! Okay, these guys make no sound. See, this is fun. Like,
I guess you're so equipped by this part of the game. Man, we're almost out of pistol balls. I gotta use one of these barrels here. We still have rifle bullets too. Yeah, come up the stairs, see what's up here. Psych. This looks like Doom now. <laughs> the thing about Doom though is uh Man, there's a lot of enemies in this section. It's insane. Dude, my ADS sensitivity is non-existent. I had to drag my arm across my entire mouse pad for that shot. I... Am I zo stuck zoomed in? Is that why? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Where are you going, bro? I don't think the enemies are infinite, but I think it's just a big battle section. Because you're so equipped by this point in the game, I think it's overdue. I, I think on, on the Village of Shadows difficulty, we definitely have to use some grenade launcher shots on this section for sure. More. You know, another thing too is we can use mines, like plant mines everywhere. That's another thing we can do as well. Because we have so many. But the thing about Doom is like, Doom is like... A lot of people are salty about that whole arena thing they did with Doom, but that game is completely like gameplay focused. And the... The making it like all these enemies require different weapons and stuff was really cool. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Am I still enjoying the game? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm really enjoying it. It's taking forever for us to beat it. Because we're going so, so slow. But I am enjoying it. A lot. Yeah, I think we need next time we run into a section like this, let's start like, using mines and shit. There's still a lot of things Capcom can learn from FPS, especially from a control and gameplay perspective. They have a lot they can learn from, but it's okay. So I played way worse than this. How many mines do we have? Six. Six mines. And six pipe bombs. We need to start using these. And we have a lot of materials. Definitely should get more sniper rounds. Yeah, I, I, it's very obvious they wanted to do that, Ultra, is make different types of gameplay each section. It's, for one, it's to add variety, but also not to make the game feel so, you know, uh, plain, you know. They tried doing it with Resident Evil 6, but this is done in a better way, in general. Alright, let's start using some of our bombs and shit. Start using some of our mines as well.
Can I place the mines on the staircase? Can I pick it back up? I can, cool. I think I just have snipers left. Using the mines there was good. Start expanding. Like I said, I, I like how this game has just enough weapons that it's not you're using everything. You know, you know, it's not something you're just piling up on and never using. This section opened up. Sniper. Okay. There's more guys. Guys, I don't remember Resident Evil 5 at all. Like, I want to play it again just so I remember it. Like, is it... It might be one of those games where, like, you go back to it and you play it, and you're like, oh, it's not that bad as I remember it, you know? Because you, you guys got to remember, the expectation of Resident Evil 5 after 4 was so insane. How could you not be disappointed? Plus, the co-op must have been fun with friends, too. You know? Okay, big guy. Oh. The more I use mines, the more I realize how insanely useful it is. Oh, I didn't break his armor? Oh shit. <laughs> Just flipped on his side there. Okay, mines are pretty sick. I don't remember the Wesker boss fight? Kind of. A little bit. I mean... That's such a small, small part of the game, though. You're talking about, like, the very, very end of the game. The, like, the less than 1% part of the game. That doesn't make or break the game. And besides, the barrel punch... Or, not the barrel, the boulder punch more than makes up for that. More than makes up for it. Shit was keen on. There are so many lichens, I'm like, I, I can't, this is like not even a village, it's like a giant city. There's just so many, maybe uh, maybe they, they, they like kidnap people from different villages or something. How many magnum rounds do we have now? Ten total? I'm starting to pile up on them. Separate this. Still have our pipe bomb and explosives here. Can't believe we're almost out of pistol ammo though. Holy shit, did this game really drain your resources for this part?
I thought we were going to a big factory. Damn, they're just munching. Oh shit, there's so many lichens. Yeah, first aid, yes please. King's Ore has finally arrived, withdraw. Yeah, those markings on the wall, there was never really a use for those yet, now that I'm reading that. I don't remember that. What did I just pick up? I think it was more sniper rounds, right? Alright, do you guys want to keep going just a little bit further? Or are you guys good now? It's quarter to one. I don't want to go too hard because it's, it's Sunday. Keep going? Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit more, just a tad more. Just tap it in. What was that item on the floor? That wasn't an item, it was a, a note. Just talking about the history of the area. Another big arena spot. As soon as we fall down, see this is what I'm talking about, we're gonna get surrounded as soon as we drop here. <sighs> It's not good. Oh, I, I completely forgot about this guy. Do we have flashbangs? No, we don't. And I got two pipe pipe bombs left. I guess we can start using grenade launcher for this. Dude, that was the dodge of the century. I thought you were going to jump forward. <laughs> I He was like, I don't know man, from my perspective it looked like he was going to jump somewhere else, but I didn't expect him to jump right on top of my damn head. Might be. Yeah, massive overhead. A 16 framer. <sighs> Tracking jumps? Yeah, bro, it was it was bison head stomp. That's not good. Alex stomp? Oh dude, you wish Alex Stomp was tracking. You wish it was. We don't have flashbangs, right? No, we don't. Just pipes and shit. No. Oh no, homies. Damn. 
Okay, pff, dude, we used like everything. Now it's time to use sniper and shotgun shots. Oh, he juked me! Bro! I'm dead. Whack! He acted like he was stunned, and then he hit me, and then I went for the heal, but I had to block the next hit, and the heal didn't go off. Because I cancelled it too soon. He mixed me up good, guys. More bullet sponges. Yeah, he hit me with that, that EX. I wake up EX. Yeah, we got blasted, boys. That's not good. Dude's just eating bullets. I'm so glad I upgraded that block damage reduction. How many times has he hit us? I was like, remember how many times I'm like, I don't need block. I don't block much. Just blocking Eat shit, shit non-stop. Eat shit. Who wrote the dialogue in this game? You know what I'm saying? There could have been better stuff. I would have said, lights out. <laughs> but eat shit? Like, come on, man. You need to watch more Blade to get inspired. Lights out, guys. That's the best thing to say.
Guys, I'm telling you, the dialogue, it needs to work. It needs to work. Yeah, Die Hard would be good too. Yeah, some Yippie Kaye. Yeah. Yeah. Just watch any action movie from the 90s, and you'll get inspired. Okay, what are we like? I'm surprised we still have ammo. I saved some explosives. We chewed through a lot of stuff. We can craft. How many heals do we have? We got a lot of heals, though. We got two. So we're good on heals. They're feeding us heals. And what does it cost to make an explosive round? Two. Get two shots with this. I think that's good. This is kind of cool. We should start ripping, ripping off these crystals and run back to the Duke. This would be worth a fortune. I'd be like putting all these in my pockets. Look, I found a large crystal. I find it amusing. The game's like, you found a large crystal, and this entire area is crystals. But okay. Uh. Oh my god. rich. Guys, we're rich. There's a bunch of crystals you can shoot down. <laughs> Come on, guys. You think I would leave that room without checking? Come on. I thought this section was a factory, though. I'm still tripping up. <laughs> Is explaining that she jumped them. What, what? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more. Cool your jets. Up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Another thing, too, is that, like, with the character development stuff, where we're talking about the story and stuff, I think it's bad to always, the enemies are always talking to you by, like, radio or TV. You're not even seeing them, you know? Like, I think that's not good either. It doesn't help. What's up with that plate? Is it just a value item? Face off? I don't know. You guys are talking about Nick Cage movies? I don't know. 14 crystal skulls to sell, guys. Oh, it's a, it's a key item.
Wait, what? Or not? Did I just miss it? I'm being stupid. Oh, yeah, here it is. Percentage wise, guys, how far am I through the game right now? Like 80? Eighty? Okay, cool. That's perfect. Because then we can do tomorrow, we can watch CPT. Then on Tuesday, we finish the game. I think that's the plan. That's the master plan. Hey, it's that other side of that graveyard. The, the fish we found. How would that fish, like that note, even help you? That picture of that fish would not even help you. Oh man, over 180 subjects. Another lichen. Death. Send for observation. Interesting. Oh, this area is just for lore. It said she wasn't from here, though. Noble descendant. You guys think it was Big D? 44. I guess cause since she lived in the, the castle, right? Maybe. That's what they mean by that. Oh, shit. I'll try to get a collateral there. Ooh, he dropped a herb. Making sure there's no one else in here. She's not from the village. Dude, somebody left a comment. Like on my, you know, the streaming video, and he said I spelled village wrong. He said I spelled it village. I. I don't. Like, I. I don't know, man. I worry sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I worry. Okay, why was that so hard to do? Jesus. We didn't find our fish, guys. Feels bad, man. 
Oops. Reading those comments is hazardous to your health. Dude, some, you know, I need I need to read the comments because a lot of times there is very valid criticism. Like recently I released a super turbo video and there are some people complaining about me screaming too much in the microphone and shit. I think that's a valid criticism. I need to uh, make a, do a mixture on it so it's not, the microphone's not too loud for YouTube and shit, you know? But there are just some comments that are like, I don't know, man. There's just nothing to, like, gain from it. Some of the comments are just, like, make you raise your eyebrows, and you're just like, what? You gotta upgrade for me? It's here? my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Naturally. Upgrades? I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Like what? See the the sniper ammo is not back. Weird. So there is a limit. Fourteen of these bad boys. Oh my god, we're about to get so much money. Oh, you've brought in something special. Okay. I mean, at this point, we might as well upgrade the Magnum boys. We have nothing to spend our money on, just sorrow. Ah. Ah, it's fine. All finished. Okay. It shows that the Magnum gets two upgrades as well. This is all an investment. So I gotta be careful. Like I said, I gotta not reload it when I fire it. Just in case we find it later. Because it seems like there's two attachments. We still have 22 shells, bullets, we still have a lot of bullets. How, how much does he have of these? Two? Got mines? Dude, like, we got everything now. We have so much. So much extra cash now. You'll be slaughtering things in droves. Should start saving for a bit. All right. Pay me no mind. It just seems like we have so much money now, you know? But we pretty much I'm bought everything we could. Please come again. Anyways, how's everybody's uh, weekend? You guys all had a good weekend? We're out of flashbangs here. Alright, so we're getting close to the end of the game here, obviously. So we need to make sure we're oh, yes. spending a good amount of money here. We need to take a look at everything. So this, we're still gate kept because of the fish that we missed. That sucks. Uh, this coin we still have, but it looks like we can get rid of it. Doesn't look like it's for anything. I'll still hold on to it for one more section. You can sell lock picks too. We got three lock picks. I'm sure we're gonna be using those eventually. I've procured some new items for Rifles you, fully Winters. upgraded. Even though it shows more slots here. Pistol, shotgun. Everything's fully upgraded. Man, we blew our load on the upgrades. Still have so much moolah. So so much but I really love how the main looks in this game. What about attachments? What do we got here? So we have more health. We don't need any more health. We've been doing a good job not getting hit, actually, because we're so, like, jacked on weapons and ammunition. How much stock does he have? 60 bullets. 15 shotgun shells. Here's our pistol we sold, our shotgun we sold, pipe bombs. 
I really wish there was a damage meter in this game that told us how much damage Pipe Bomb does compared to mines. Is there a way to find out? Please come again. Doesn't look like it. It's really cool you can pick these back up though. That's really convenient. That means you can never basically waste. You'll always get your money's worth. Health meter mod. There's people asking for it. There's people asking for it. A lot of people asking for it. I need that information too. Does the what about the mercenary mode? Does the mercenary mode show damage? It shows life bars. Life bars wouldn't be helpful. I need numbers. I need actual numbers. Life bar wouldn't be useful. I need to see the difference in headshot damage. Like I see they need the multiplier. And I need to see the shotgun pellet damage. If it's modified by close and far. I need that information. And I need to see the difference in damage between mines and pipe bombs. So I'll know what to craft on shadows. Or a village of shadows difficulty, right? Because this is rust of scrap, metal scrap, gunpowder. They both have. These are expensive in the shop, but they're cheap for crafting. You know, same with the rifle bullets. I mean, we'll we'll check it out. If it, if that information is there, we can take a look at it. Check our key items here. <laughs> the phantom fish. And the damn coin. And everything on the map is Gucci. Except this stupid thing that's not open. Let me check one more time and see if it's open. Maybe it open later. We'll see. Damn, this game is pretty, man. Holy shit. Is this is this uh getting close to the dusk or dawn? I think it's dawn, right? No. Maybe if I move over here to where the bird was, it'll trigger. Yeah, Bunker, let's finish this shit. Alright, so the current plan is we're going to default to rifle shots for enemies. We'll use pistol to finish them off because we have so many pistol bullets. And we'll use shotgun for emergencies if enemies get close. Magnum for werewolves if werewolves show up again. Grenade launcher for werewolves and bosses. That is our setup plan. And then we have every side quest, everything else is done that I can do. And yeah, we're finally here. There's also this here that we need something for, but let's do this first. Because I think that's the very, very end. Is the volume good, guys? Oh, that's disturbing. What was that? Oh, no cutscenes for those? The umbrella logo, bro. A chalice. What? It's 
So it wants us to go to that final area with the chalice then. The ceremony site. Just letting you guys know, uh, uh, what's it called, um, I gotta deal with this, this, uh, annoying Aaron, uh, in about two hours or something, so I'll be AFK for a little bit. I didn't want to cancel the stream because of it, but just giving you guys a heads up if you don't finish the game in time. Me might finish it in time, you don't have to worry about what I'm just letting you guys know. There's one more mini boss you can fight now without moving on if you want, where? Let me know. That field on the way to Louis's house? How are you supposed to know about that? How do you know about this? Just... Uh, I don't like that shit, but that's, that's cool. You can hear it when coming out of the graveyard. By feeling it in your bones. How are you supposed to know this shit? I should go up more. Fields this way. I mean, we might as well check out the other areas at this point too then. If that's the case. Let me check this area too then. Your spider senses tingle? Come on guys. That's unacceptable. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Because you do exit the area from here, so you're supposed to hear it when you go down these steps. I don't know, man. Do we still have this barricade here? And we have the exit window there too. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Is that a werewolf? What the hell is that? Shit. Turn on my speakers a bit. Oh, it hit me? Fuck off. Ah, oh, he's not gonna let me cheese it. I couldn't tell if that's a werewolf. Oh, he's just way back there. Hopefully he, I didn't replenish his health. What does he have? So it wasn't a werewolf, it was just an ancient beast. 
You guys see I was doing the, the, the block shoves? And the shoves weren't even stunning him. Okay, remember, we're not reloading the Magnum. Do not reload Magnum. Okay, was there anything else? Like, the, the thing is, is once we get to Village of Shadows difficulty, we have to assess, like, what's worth, worth it. Like, how much money is that going to give us? Like, if it gives us, like, 30k, was it worth 30k in ammunition? You know? Some, some ammunition is invaluable, like, uh, Magnum ammunition, you know? It's, it's literally priceless. No, I can't do the slab thing. I just checked. Alright, I just checked that. That's cool though. Like I love the the the, the extra the secret content and shit. That's cool. I just wish I heard that heard it when I went through to find it, you know, on my own kind of thing. But thanks for telling me for it. We got to remember that for our next run. Like I said, I want to ace this game. It'd be more cool though if like the rewards rewards in this game weren't just money. Like it'd be cool if that if that gave us a secret knife or a, a secret attachment, right? Anything would be a lot more cool than uh than coins. You know, I feel like I feel like uh there's a lot of cool things in this game, but everything's just like can be easily improved to make it even crazier. You know. That's how I feel. I'm just double checking the areas now, guys. Very, very quickly. I mean, yeah, I'm sure the series is going to get better and better because for them to top this game, they're going to have to really go hard on the extra content, the scope, the setting. And, uh, wait, what's this? We never saw this before. We never saw this before. Got the window. Oh, that's for the, the, the thing for the puzzle. We never saw that photo. We just figured that out ourselves. That's weird. Yeah, that was the jump scare thing. That was weird though. It showed like a dude with like implants. Yeah, it was cool when Nemesis dropped parts. Like, like stuff like that is really cool, you know? Like, but if you already have a bunch of coin like I do, then it's just like, it's like, oh, more money. Like, I'm, I'm fighting just so I can have more ammo to fight more, you know? But having attachments, it changes the gameplay and stuff, right? Finding secret weapons and stuff would be a lot more interesting. That's all. But yeah, the exploring stuff has definitely taken up a notch in this game. It's good. Just can be like even better though. Even cooler. Well, this the team that's working on this is now going to be the team that works on RE4, so So they're obviously experimenting with stuff. Right?
Is RE4 the best game? That's debatable. It'd be between RE4, Resident Evil 1 Remake, and uh, OG Resident Evil 2. RE4 was a big deal. It changed gaming. It was such a big game. It literally changed gaming. That over-the-shoulder shit, like, if we go all the way, if we fast forward all the way to, like, The Last of Us 2, that all came from Resident Evil 4. God of War came from Resident Evil 4. It started something. But, at the same time, Resi OG Resident Evil 2 was big as well, man. That game was amazing for its time. And Resident Evil 1 Remake, in my opinion, is probably the greatest remake of a game ever made. They all stand tall. And they're all debatable. But one thing we can all agree on is that they're all good. Okay, let's buy more health now. Ah, yes, yes. RE2 Remake is good, but like I said, those three games are at a different level. Uh oh. Willie's coming downstairs, not good. Interesting selection. What? She's gonna be here in probably like 10 15 minutes. Really? Yes. Okay. Alright, we might have to take a, a break sooner than I thought, guys. I'll let you guys know. I see. Anything else? I don't know how long I'll be Have AFK for, adventure. but it shouldn't be long. But once I'm back, we're, we're good for the rest of the night. Mm, I should buy more ammo now, too. Welcome, Ethan. Uh -huh. and we're sold on a rifle, right? Oh, interesting. It's a whole different category, the two shotgun shells. Are we on pistol? We have 30. No, pistol's so cheap. <laughs> have a wonderful adventure. All right. Yeah, he doesn't seem to sell magnum rounds. It doesn't seem like we can craft it either. If we could, that'd be insane. What's going on? The end of the game, Ethan. That's what's going on. How long have we been playing this game for? A long time. 13, 14 hours, something like that. But when we play Village Shadows, we'll be skipping the cutscenes and like we'll know where all the secrets are. So like we'll be way faster a second time around. Way, way faster. Oh, I forgot to examine it, actually. Can I examine it? Pattern looks familiar. Oops. Reset. Cutscene. Oh, the final section. Village of Shadows is no joke. I hope not, Qua, because the game's been pretty easy so far. Like I said, the first 10 minutes was the hardest part. We'll be playing it on a brand new file for sure. I won't be using any of that infinite ammo or shop item bullshit. Here's that factory I was talking about. I was worried that we wouldn't get to see this section. Uh, the mercenary mode, we'll see how it is. Like, some people said it shows a health bar. So I might use mercenary mode as a way to, uh, to build up strategy on what weapons to use in Villager Shadows. Like, if it shows a health bar, then we can calculate the damage on the shotgun and the mines and the pipe bombs. That's what I need to know. Okay, this really looks like Alberta now. This is where I live, guys. Ah! 
the oil, the oil, the oil claw. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past daughter Moreau. Yeah, but oil. I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. <laughs> it's not a trap. What are you planning? This obviously opens up later. It's hella sus, this door. The giant open field. Secrets though. There's gotta be some scraps here. This has gotta be like scrap yard central. Ah! Scared me. Oh, there's scraps. It doesn't look like a trap. Maybe Meg Needle's a good guy. I like how, like, the herbs and scraps are in places that you would expect them to be. I mean, there is the, the occasional spot where, like, it's in an outhouse and stuff like that, but... There's some cool spots they put them in and shit. Okay. Area has been dusted down and examined. We may continue our run. Do we go in here? Nope. Can we craft rifle rounds? Yes, we can. Is Magneto get his powers from himself or from his hammer? And if he gets it from himself, why does he need to hold the hammer? Can't he just make the hammer float? And if he can just make the hammer float, then why does he use a hammer? Can he use like something more dangerous? And if he could do that, does that mean he's not very smart? That's how he's communicating with us. What the hell? He's been keeping track. Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? What's up? He said it wasn't a trap. Let me guess. You're thinking. Take me out like the others. And then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. It's a mental. Shut your fucking hole! That was very nice. Sorry about that. Somebody was busy. Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're, <laughs> you're being game? played. <laughs> I said sit! <laughs> Lady, supersized bitch. Whoa! Ugly, a psycho doll. And then we're on a freak. This guy's literally Magneto. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are! I kinda do. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. This guy can literally kill us whenever so he wants to. Literally. 
Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! Sorry, boss. You and me, then. Together, we go save Rose, and we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! That's not very nice, Ethan. <laughs> My dad joke made you well, laugh, dogs. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a few. He literally could have just killed us. Why do you have to drop us down here? You know how many times Ethan could have died? Oh, it's a chase sequence. What the fuck is that? The Terminator? It's Propeller Man? Damn it! What the shit? How can he even see? That doesn't even make any sense. Shit! A dead end. Damn it! He literally could have just took that knife and fling it towards us, fast bender styles, and we'd be bred. And it'd be like game over. Man, Catcom really likes their chase sequences. Like, they got a hard on for it. I think this area would be literally the most dangerous area to fight Magneto, no? What the hell was that? They like the feedback from Mr. X? Yeah, but a, a, stalk, a stalking section is different than a chase sequence, right? All the negative feedback they got from Resident Evil 3 was from the from the Nemesis scripted chase sequences, and they doubled down and increased it in this game. Oh shit. Oh what VR zombies? Oh. oh! We crafting, boys. We crafting. Well, the, pro the problem with the Nemesis thing, guys, if we're going back to that, is that it replaced the fun stalker sequences from Nemesis chasing you in RE3. And they replaced it with scripted uh, chase sequences. The problem with these chase sequences is they're only fun the first time. You know, once you go through it again, there's nothing else to it. You know where to go. It's not... There's nothing to it, you know? But when you, when you have someone stalking you, it can change. Because they'll be in different spots, different times, depending on where you go, what you do. You don't know where they are. That's always a different experience. You know what I'm saying? This place is messed up. I Arthur also has multiple choices and shit too. Wow, look at this area. This how how is this area this huge? Are we underground? Where are we? The core of the earth? 
looks like the mines of Moria. It's Alberta. <laughs> Oh, dude, you just know there's like a, a, a wooden goat somewhere that's just hella, hella hidden. Uh oh, I'm being harassed. Really? Fuck. Alright, I'll be there in a second. Alright, guys, I have to go F AFK, I'm sorry. It literally cannot be avoided. Okay, we got more heals. I'll try I'll try to get it done as fast as I can, guys. This labyrinth thing looks really cool. Look at this area. Oh my god. There's no save? As you wish. Oh, what? He just randomly has a clob? What the hell? We're Resident Evil, we're Resident Evil 6, 5 now? It's like, oh, you stocked up, we're ready to go. By the way, here's some machine guns. It's 180,000? Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, we upgraded our Magnum for nothing! Oh shit! Now we don't have enough money for anything! Oh my god, you guys should have told me not to spend any of the money! Look! Oh shit! Now we're finally at the Security point of the game where we have to make choices. More important than anything. Anything. Oh, shit! Finished. Are you you sure guys you debated me! Hard! Oh, here's the save right here. Alright, you guys you get to stare at Rufus. But we are back. Naturally. Alright, now we have to do some serious, serious decision. 80,000?! Holy shit, that was hella worth! I said it was 30,000. Oh my god. We're rich. I'm selling this damn coin. I'm tired of looking at it. As always, a trustworthy fair exchange. Okay, we're going to have to make some serious decision making. Only 1,000 to upgrade the damage? These seem like no brainers. Wait, no. It's a thousand damage. It's 29,000. Okay, looks at the attachments again. How is the burger? I wasn't eating, guys. More inventory management. We're not going to need this unless we buy guns. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. What are the deeps of this? 200 damage. I'm going to assume this has a very high fire rate. What kind of ammunition does this use? Does it tell us? I'm assuming pistol bullets. Handgun bullets. Does this... Oh, this is a shotgun. This is the auto shotty. Semi-auto shotgun. 1160. This is all an investment, even. So it's already more powerful than my shotgun. Costs 180,000. See, this is what I like. This is what the game should have started off like. Where you had to make really hard decisions. Like, this is what it should have been like at the beginning. Okay, what are these attachments? V61. Greatly reduces recoil for the V61. So it's for this. So we're reducing recoil. 
And this is for the auto shotgun. Increase firepower and rate of fire in further. Magnum. Increase capacity. And this will technic technically give us magnum bullets too. This magnum thing would be the least least value because we have such a limited amount of magnum bullets unless the game starts handing them out like candy still can't craft them or anything like that we have 300,000 we don't need the inventory space no new food recipes i'm skilled at all sorts. yeah it we have to uh, it's the value of refilling your magnum bullets basically for 100k Like I'm going to assume there's going to be some difficult monsters in this section if it's allowing us to upgrade this. If we buy the shock, how much can we sell the shotgun for? We can sell the shotgun for 100k and the pistol for 75k. Securing goods is more important than anything. So we get some of the value back. I want to check out these weapons out so that when, when we get to uh, Village of Shadows, we can see the power of these weapons later, you know? Alright, let's get crazy and sell these weapons. Let's get crazy. I want to, I want to check out all these new guns. Farewell. Farewell. I suppose you'd call this a farewell to arms. Very clever. All right. So let's grab our new pistol. Yeah, exactly, Qual. We we're just talking about that. These weapons look strong, though. <laughs> Have a wonderful adventure. Ooh, they're big too, these weapons. They take up a lot of space. Except for the, the pistol one. Okay. Let me uh, assign them too, to their slots. Shortcut, we'll put it to three. Oh, it already replaced it properly for us. Okay. Get this. Pistol. Rifle still. And our shotgun. Okay, I want to see how fast these weapons fire and such. Oh, it's way slower than I thought. Shut up! Oh, you can't, can't shoot him. Shit. This shoots so slow. Trebia. Trebia. Okay, these shoot so, so slow. Hey, it's nighttime. Trebia. This is a really exciting part of the game, man. There's like a lot of new stuff going on. Shall I choose something for you? Trebia. Hey, we have sniper rifle ammo again, too. How many he has? Only five. Wow. You can imagine my excitement. We want this because it increases firepower. Uh, the reduces recoil, I don't give a shit. 
But the firepower, I think, is important. How much does it increase it by, though? Let's see if we can find out. So... It's 1160. And the fire rate is 1.4. 1160, 1.4. I saw you on... To hunger. Used to be alive. It's only by 10? This doesn't seem worth it at all. Have a wonderful adventure. That's garbage. That's fucking trash. Thanks for writing that. Thanks for writing that down, though. You wish to make a purchase? Okay, we don't need those attachments. The optics attachment was a waste too for the rifle. I feel this magnum attachment. I think is worth it for the magnum rounds. We might have to save for it. 100k. So that leaves us with 80k. Upgrading our rifle is 150 increase. Magnum is 300 damaging. No, 200 damage increase. We're already reaching 2k. I mean, fuck. And 65. 50,000 for one upgrade on this? 1240. Well, this is already more powerful than our previous shotgun. I think this is the most value. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Okay, fully upgraded our rifle. And then we'll get the Magnum thing. Aha! No. Securing. Have a wonderful adventure. Alright, boys, let's we'll make do with this. Okay. What an interesting part in the game. So we have the elevator down. That's for this. Oh, what's this about? Just want to double check this area here because I was being rushed last time. Does this red part count as the labyrinth? I don't think so. I think I actually am missing something. Let's hold on. Oh. Hmm. I guess it is count as a labyrinth. can use it right now. Okay, so we only have one destination we can go. What's the capacity of this? Four? On the shotgun? Ten. Okay, it's one sh the rifle is one-shotting them now. This is good. But it looks like these plates on their face cover them. 
So it looks like we're gonna have to shoot him with the pistol in the face and then shoot him with a rifle shot to kill him in the headshot. This uh, club, it reloads really fast. Not working? Yeah, not enough power. Okay. Nice. of God time soon, hopefully. Examine. Showing them the modifications they did on the Zombos. That's creepy. Oh, there's a press. Every Resident Evil game has that classic like, like underground laboratory at the end. But I don't think RE7 did, unless you count the, the boat or the ship, you know? Let's go, nice. Oh, lockpick. Doesn't use the lockpicks automatically? That's odd. I need to restore power to this area. Oh boy. Definitely got to fight some new enemy. That's annoying. Just want to see if there's any other ways we can go from this way. There's this door here we haven't checked. On the other side. That's where we came from, right? Yes. Okay. We have to go this way. So far, it's pretty linear, which way we're supposed to go. This guy is not gonna- This guy looks like he's straight from Cyberpunk, like what the hell? This game's getting weird, hey? I mean, I shouldn't say it's getting weird now, this game is always really weird, it's just extra weird. I was the Terminator you trust the first time since I met the Duke. Okay, you're not alive, right? Did he do this too? Better not get a jump scare LOL from this guy. 
I guess if I restore the power, then this... Oh, rocket launcher? Oh, the case was huge. Okay, don't get up, please. Ah! Covering his chest. Fucking Terminator. What? Can I kill this guy? Or is he gonna be like, or can I only slow him down? Looks like. I can't tell if I'm damaging him or not, because he's got that weak point. Shooting in the face definitely doesn't seem to work. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, dude. He just teleports? Weird. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell is that? Oh my god! This guy better be worth a hundred thousand for how much ammo I spent on that clown. And yes, he was teleporting. A precious rifle rounds, dude. I think the game wanted you to shoot the big red thing. Um. But why not shoot him in the head, guys? His head got exposed, and he covers his chest with the thing. So this is why we need to check that mercenary mode to understand how the damage works in this game. I don't know, man. I think the head would have did more damage. The red light gives crit damage? Okay, well, if we run into this clown again, I will aim for the red light and we'll see the difference, okay? Okay, where's that mold plate? Oh wait, we can over here. Is this really necessary? Gee, I wonder where this goes. Seems useful. Oh. Maybe here. Like, what the hell was that? I thought that was an enemy. Oh, my, we're just chewing through lockpicks. Rifle animal? Magnum ammo. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, we need a horsey key. Oh. Wait, what? You missed? 
We d should start using our grenade launcher again, though. We've been kind of stingy on it. I take it this looks bad. What kind of- who constructed this dangerous factory? This makes no sense. Oh shit. make pistol bullets guys these are dark times man to actually make pistol bullets how many do we make 15 I guess it's worth oh it hurts him shit we wasted ammo on this fudge We screwed up. Have to remember this in the future. Feels uh. too slow. Please. Damn, we're missing an item from that area. Or not? Oh, actually, yeah, we are still. Damn it, dude. I want to get hit by that stupid thing again. It's got to be a gem or something. Oh, wait, what? You got to be kidding me. Man, screw it. Too many shots. Look for shiny gems. Well, the, the thing is, when you when you first enter the section, the game shows you that you can shoot those lights to enter the door, and that's just the way of the game saying, "Hey, get ready to start shooting things." Are those flashbangs? No, explosive. Yeah, I didn't shoot the lights before. I wasn't even thinking about because I was too uh, focused on uh, killing the zombos. Just making sure there's nothing tricky like shooting a light and it opens the door from the other side kind of bullshit, you know? Just making sure it's not trying to be clever. Oh my god, Terminator hallway.
Okay, we're gonna test your guys' theory on this shooting this light thing, but I'm gonna have to shoot him in the head if uh, if he covers his chest. It's always the last one. Oh, that looks really obvious. Oh, we went full circle. I kind of feel like, uh... Going back to the shop real quick, though. How far was it back? It's pretty far back, though, hey? Oops, we're going the wrong way. Going backwards again. I'm kind of lost. And yeah, don't worry, I'm paying attention to those red lights. I was just talking about it. <laughs> Robo Kai. Welcome, Ethan. Right, sell some stuff. Ten thousand thirty-five. The mechanical heart is only worth five thousand. That's useless. Oh, I'm so salty now. Hard times, Ethan. Very. That's trash. Dude, we are... Like, this is the first point of the game where we're actually broke. I'm actually surprised by this. I look forward to seeing... I am actually surprised. We are actually... The fruits broke. of your exploration. When we do our Village of Shadows playthrough, we're definitely going to prepare all the way up to this section. Dam damage upgrade above all else, for sure. Above all else. Okay, obviously we got to blow this up. I'm just trying to think what would be the most efficient thing to blow it up with. One grenade launcher shot or one pipe bomb? What do you guys think would be more efficient? Or a claim or a mine. We can shoot a mine on it as well. You guys think a pipe would be the most efficient? I was thinking mine with a gunshot or a pipe. Chat, everyone says pipe bomb. What you got for me? Shotgun ammo? And rocket launcher? Oh, and you actually have to open this up. That's kind of whack. I'm going to assume that we're going to find uh, something explosive in this room then. Missing a, a cog. See so if something combines with anything? What do you mean? Like my key items? Or my uh, valuables? Yeah, we already sold all of our valuables. So. Oh, 
Oh. There's the mine it gives us for explosives. Thing you picked up mechanical with this, the key item. Yeah, it says viable combinable. But I have nothing to combine it with though. So we'll probably have to find something in the area. I thought that was a key item though, but I, I don't sell. I don't. I never sell anything valuable if it says cause, uh, uh, cause, uh, combinable with it. So don't worry. I won't accidentally sell it. I always double check now to make sure. You sold the ring, yo. That's before I knew about it, though. That was at the very start of the game. C'est la vie. Okay. And when we store the power, this area will be open. So. Lights here. Holy shit. The RE engine lighting bro. Mechanical soldier. Soldat. Soldat. What? There's a corpse was used. Implanted that creepy thing. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Uh-huh. A lichen destroyed it? Destroy three lichens within one minute. Good results. This light stop function if the reactor is destroyed. Well, it's, it is definitely saying to shoot the light like you guys said. There's another mold. Is that a key item or treasure? It's a key item. Let me take a look at it. So we got another mold here. Bomb. Okay, calm down on the spoilers, please. I'm really enjoying the game. I have a lot to say about this game. I just don't really want to say all of it until uh, until we are finished it completely. Oh wait, this is where we came from. I want to see if any of these guys awaken. Oh, yeah. Too far from the 
them either. Come on, bro. Yeah, you guys were right. Oh! Forgot about that part. That counter was has like zero range. Also forgot it was in the game for 70% of the time. It's very important though, Kwa. If you play on hardcore. Very important to know. But I did it too far away from that guy. Oh, come on, bro. There's no item for him? Still has no range? Well, that's melee, bro. What do you want it to be? You wanted to do like a, a Liu Kang bicycle kick or something? Yes? Well, I don't know what to say, Qua. Okay, we better heal too, guys. CQC. Okay, now we got the cog. And we can make more rifle ammo. Always more rifle ammo. Cog, a crank. There's still a few rooms that we haven't explored yet, but we will re explore them when we restore the power. There's the switch. We need the power for the switch. Casting machine. Am I going up or not? Okay. Lift controls, that's the very top. Generator lever. Just need to find where we needed that that thingy for. Well first let's check the switch, because that's the closest thing. I know we saw it recently, so I'm just Trying to get my bearings where it is. I can't wait for our second playthrough, guys. I'm really excited for it. Okay, that's the switch that we need power for. It's not there. I think the gear, that gear area was back where those machines were. That were going up and down. Could be wrong. This is back at the start. I don't think it was here. That's the operating machine. Is it right here? Backup generator. There it is. We got power, yay! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, Ethan. Such a disappointment. Apex bots are being assembled. I thought we could join forces against that bitch, Miranda. I mean, it's not that bad, bro. I mean, you got your own factory and shit. I'm not like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. Ooh. 
É bicho. Então eu preciso de poder. I need enough power to destroy her. How does he not have enough? He's Magneto. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. Oh no. What a freak. I don't like this enemy. Monka S. Okay, he takes four shots. Can you see a sniper rifle? Sniper rifle is just too good in this game, man. Way too good. It's too OP. Damn, these guys are everywhere. What's the damage of my shotgun again? 1160. They're really close together right now. Hey, buddy, behind you. Hey, buddy. Dude! Yeah, fuck it. Their brain did, remember? Right. Right, 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 right. This looks suspicious. That was four shots as well, correct? So they have about 4,000 health. Okay. Like, I really like the whole idea of the barricades and the flower, those kind of things. But I feel like you just don't use it enough. It was only for, like, really the start of the game, you know? So having more environmental things is cool. Yeah, I don't know if it hurts them. It doesn't look like it is. But it stuns them. Uh, if it takes four shots again, then there's no need for it. Unless there's like two of them coming at me or something. You know? Oh, flashbang. I was waiting when we see more of these.
Is it because uh, RE2 Remake is third person, Qua? I think maybe you playing the game on standard call maybe diminished it a little bit because you weren't that scared. You know what I mean? You probably like play this game like Rambo. I think if you play this game, you should definitely start off on hardcore. Yeah, the opening is messed up. But I think it'll be... like the, the hardest part, though, for it is understanding it's a time sequence. Once we understood it was a time sequence, we beat it shortly after, right? I think that's the problem, is you don't, you don't understand the rules of the game. They're already working on a third-person mod for this claw. Dude, I, I have my mouse wheel to pick up. Mouse wheel up is pick up items for Apex, and I just did it just there. That was a bad habit. <laughs> that was awkward. <clears throat> did you like this game more than RE3 Remake, Qual? RE2 Remake is, was really good. Really, really good. I think everyone everyone enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. But I did play RE3 Remake more than 2, Claw. But that's only because the, the extra difficulty changed a lot with the game, you know? So I got more play time out of it. Another entrance from there. What the hell? He's got dualies and no generator. Oh, it's on his back? It is. It is on his fucking back. That's cheap. Okay, maybe we stun him and do a loop-de-loop? -loop? No, we can't even open this area up. Oh, I got it. Can you break the fences? Um, uh, I don't know. I think this opens up and you need to use it later. That's that's why it's like that. I don't know, you just go around. It's just in case you're being chased.
I mean, the important thing is, Qua, that you get to play a Resident Evil game every year, right? I say this all the time. When you think of it that way, like, this is, this is awesome. We're spoiled. We're spoiled by Capcom. Okay, so this area is clear. Wake up, what other one for? I didn't see it. There's the one on the other side of that fence. Oh, shit. How do you know this shit for it? You woke me up. You just figured it out? Oh! So far you just walk around and just start shooting random things? I want this. Holy shit. We hit the jackpot. Still need an excuse to use those two magnum rounds though. And upgrade that cylinder. Some big brain shit. Okay, now we're back for the loop. I feel like there's more we can get though. Like on the other side, because we restored the power. I'm sure we're missing some things. Let me just see what's in here. Yeah, this is leading to the factory. Let's let's go back down here because I'm sure there's some things we missed since we restored the power. Let me double check this area, guys. I mean, I think we have to go back here anyways because there is that horse key, horsey key we need to get. Let's go to that switch at the very least. Where we got that cutscene. Oh, it closed it off. Here's that other room we didn't have access to. Right? Oh, here it is. You did have access to it. Oh, this is blocked off now, too. Okay. Never mind then. Go where we're supposed to go. I wanted them to remake uh, Code Veronica Fresh before RE4 though, but it's okay. Technology will advance by then and it'll be even a better remake. That was actually one of the first Resident Evil games I played. I was blown away. 
buy it on Dreamcast. I remember the very first cutscene when you start off. I thought it was a cutscene, but it was the actual game. And, uh, I don't know, I got super hyped when I realized how beautiful the game was back then. Yeah, okay, we definitely need to zap this guy and run around. This way. Oh! That didn't even stun him. Fucking hardcore. Oh! Uh oh, he's pissed. Whoa! Dude, that was a 2 H. He just did a 2 H. Happy door. Oh, I love I love that game call. As you know, since you, we played it. <laughs> oh, what was I missing back there? Shit. How's, how does Cold Veronica feel like a fan-made game? There's actually some there's actually some good legit lore in that game because we learned about the the Ashford family, like the 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 funding for Umbrella. I think that's pretty good cool lore. We're missing something in this room, guys. Probably something on the floor. Something stupid. Usually it's something always obvious, it's not something that's like insanely... Now that the room's lit up, it should be easier to see shit. Did I say Alfred or Ashford? I don't know. One of the two. The game feels awkward. I mean, okay. Oh wait, it says we found the item now. Hold on, it says this is clear now. It's only red up here. Good that it's very specific. There must be a gem or something on the top. Keep your eyes peeled. It's gotta be something up top. It just has to be. I 
I see like this yellow here, right? It's not in this room, right? Eh? No, it's definitely this room. I really hope I'm not missing something simple and stupid. I mean, it's really narrowed down because we know it's on the top here. No, it's gotta be. 100% has to be on a wall or on the roof. Yo, what's up, Rashido? We're trying to find a fucking gem or something. It'd be funny if the gem was on one of these guys on the assembly line. That'd be too next level, though, I think. That'd be stupid. Chad, I need help. I can't find this last item. And I hope it's not like uh, the dollhouse where you get an item later and it marks it now. That'd be stupid. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> you cleared the chat. Don't make me bust open the YouTube, guys. I will. I ain't going anywhere until I find this item. Don't make me go on YouTube. Some of these pieces are unnecessarily hard to find. You think? It better not be something stupid, like it's on this dumb assembly line. Let me check the back part of it, because I was checking the front. No, it's not that dumb. If only Vesper was playing Loba. <laughs> Everyone got their hands down their pants right now. No one knows where it is. There's no way you guys would find this shit before me. There's no way. You'd have to be an an animal. You don't see shit. If you know where if you see it, prove it. It's right there. It's right where? I don't know if, if I should prove it. Prove it, Claw. Prove you have eyes. Okay, give me a hot, give me a hot and cold at least. Give me some hot and cold. If I prove it, oh god. Then I get to <laughs> what's with Claw negotiating? I'm hot. Okay. Not hot. Hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Cold, cold. <laughs> Guys, I don't see it. 
hot, hot, hot. Hot. Everyone's going crazy. It has nothing to do with this, right? That'd be stupid. Hot. Am I looking right at it or something? How am I looking right at it? That's impossible. Am I getting trolled? How am I looking right at it? That's impossible. You were burning hot. How's that possible? I don't understand how you guys can see this shit. How's this possible? How can it be this well hidden? Okay, just tell me where it is. Just fucking tell me where it is. Let's just fucking move on, please. I fucking, I throw in the towel. I just throw in the fucking towel. It's above the green light. Oh my god! I see it. I see it! I fucking see it! I don't think this proves that you knew where it was, though, Claw. That was just fucking unnecessary. Straight up. That shit was a waste of time. You were facing the whole time you completely missed it? That one would be the second hardest one next to, uh... Even though we found it right away, the other one call would be the one that's on the Castle D. On the side of one of the towers, right before you rappel down. That one would be stupid. We are backing Claw. You guys stand united? Holy shit, I'll be right back. That one wrestled my jimmies though, guys. If you guys didn't tell me where it was, I seriously would have been there for like another hour. I guarantee it. Better than Street Fighter 5. You guys would rather watch me suffer and try to find that gem for an hour than watch me play Street Fighter? You guys are assholes. You guys are assholes. Okay, you guys can take your hands out of your pants now. Just so we can move on.
I think he's breaking free. I got all the items though. Hey, we're back in the factory. Oh wow. Man, they got an army! They have an army to take over the world in this factory! They're taking a bring <laughs> Rufus coming in. Yo, what's up, Rufus? Sorry for uh, bringing you down here, but I need your shit. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. <laughs> I've gotten some new stock. All right, what do you got? Okay, so valuable, very valuable. Valuable. So these are at least worth nine nine thousand each. And here is that cylinder, and it's it's combinable. Uh, better. Ch I I think it has to be with another item that says combinable. But I mean, let's just make sure. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Let's just double check to make sure, of course. Okay. This should be enough. Okay, so we have some moolah again. Some. Okay. This is all an investment, even. So. I kind of feel cheated because now the shotgun's gonna do more deeps than my rifle. Way more deeps. 1240. Shotgun's OP now, Kwa. It's OP now. Uh -huh. Still want an excuse to use my uh Have mango. a wonderful adventure. Might as well craft shotgun shells now. Damn, we got six mines. We gotta start using this shit, guys. We have so many now. We need to start using them. The problem is all the enemies we run into are weird. They have weird weak points and shit now. We need to run into lichens and stuff. Okay, let's continue our journey. This fourth section is pretty long because we had that whole cave area where you had to fight a million enemies, and now we have this section, this giant underground factory. Like, got this, a long way to go. The scope of this game is so huge; it's massive, like ridiculous. engine man never disappoints never hello Shit about your family drama. What the hell? He's just busy working. 
No! bombs for days. <laughs> Just mining his own business? Guys, please. Strain yourselves. That was pretty good. <laughs> well, everybody likes puns like you, Phil. Another lockpick. I'm overjoyed. Oh, I guess we don't have to look for that shit. Guys, they did an emergency nerf patch today for Apex. They nerfed the bow check, like I told you guys they would. And they nerfed the Spitfire. Again, couldn't believe it. I was actually it was kind of it's kind of funny because I was trying to drop the twenty bomb this morning before I went to sleep, and I was doing really good. I had like nine kills, and I stuck up on this team, and uh, I sprayed one guy, got him down, and then I fought the other guy, and his teammate had the Spitfire, and he was like, doo, 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 doo. and during this whole time I'm fighting the other guy, I'm like, I sprayed him, switched my weapon. Thirsted and killing the whole time. The other guy's like, D -d 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 -d. I'm like, re and then I turn and look at him, and he's still shooting at the Spitfire. And I'm like reloading and getting ready to headshot him. He's like, D -d 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 and I see my health slowly going down. I'm just like, just about to fire, and he killed me. And as he killed me, he was still fucking firing. I was super salty about it. That could have been the run. Anyways, they nerfed that stupid weapon. Anyway, dude, it has a, it used to have a 55 bullet clip. 55. R9 is 18 or some shit. It's so stupid. <laughs> if Qua, if you were going to play Apex with me, I'd get you to use a Spitfire. That's your weapon. Spitfire. You can't go wrong with that weapon, dude. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god. I can, I can just hear the sound in my head. Anyways, I'm glad they nerfed it. Oh god, no guys, not again. Not again! Please! No more! When I have a Spitfire and like 300 heavy, I ask myself if that's enough! <laughs> oh! Wait, what? How did I not see that? Am I blind? That wasn't a secret. Oh, it was! What? Dude, I'm blind. How did I not see that? I swear that just spawned in, guys. There's no way I walked past that. I refuse to believe. Wow, how did you not see that, but you saw this gem that barely even has a pixel of glistening above that damn green light? Come on. How's that even possible? You know where the, the most hardest gem is to find, but can't find a, a floating bird cage?
All right, how many pipe bombs we have? I'm using a mine this time. We have too many mines. Armed. Oh, it's like a giant parts grinder. That's kind of cool. Is it powered by magnetism? This looks like a good boss room. Winky face. Gravity squeeze. I completely forgot about that super claw. What the hell? Are we still playing Resident Evil? Some cyberpunk shit. Good time to use a mine? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. No! Fudge! What the hell is that? He's seeking missiles? Did the mine- did the mine help? I didn't even see if the mine helped. That shot is so good. Did you get the attachment for a claw? How many heals do we have left? Oh, we got so much grenade shots, guys. And magnum shots, though. Fudge. I didn't have the money for the attachments. I didn't have the food either, Claw. No good, Claw. No good. One piece of metal falling everywhere. That was pretty crazy though. I never imagined we'd fight enemies with jetpacks. That's some next level shit. That looks suspicious. Almost like it wants me to shoot it. Yeah, 
Maybe before we find a note that says <laughs> to shoot it, but let's see. Journalist notes. I've got to stop it somehow. What happens if I try climbing up this ladder? Do it. Find out. No! No! No. Why is it going on fire? Shouldn't it be slowing down? This looks safe. Some big things going on in this village, guys. Village. So, what are they gonna call Resident Evil uh, Nine? What's gonna be the word they use? There's a gem up there. It's blue, though. Cool. There can't be a gem up here. It's blue. That'd be so confusing. Resident Evil 6. <laughs> I think they trapped themselves. There's literally nothing they can call it. Attach the jetpack and head stabilizers. <laughs> Greatly improves mobility, I bet. So stupid. <laughs> oh no, aloe shielding to protect chest reactor. He's invincible in- oh, they- there's a misspelling? They have a misspelling in a AAA game? There's barely any notes in this game. How did nobody not spell check this? Come on, man. This pisses me off. Someone had one job. No wonder the dialogue in this game is so terrible. Jesus. Oh god. How's that how does that happen? Like I said, there's barely any amount of notes in this game. Like barely. is a room here this looks destructible guys there's no yellow X but I mean it looks destructible should I try blowing this wall up Oh, Fort said no. I trust Fort over all you guys. It makes too much sense because it's not the yellow X. No. What if it still was destructible? It's not a Magnum Animal Claw. Oh, bomb mold. 
Hey, I ain't got ammo. That's kind of like Magnum ammo if it did 100 times more damage. No more jetpacks, please. I was looking for things on the side to shoot. And I didn't want to waste my damn shotgun. Shit, that was close. This game is worse than Cyberpunk? Zach, that is such a disgusting take. Did Slack hack your account and take it over? That's a terrible take. You shouldn't say that shit in public, Zach. The hell is the point of this? Auto save. I should have used my knife, guys. I would have been more ammo efficient. Okay, Chameleon has superb Shit. controls. That Is this close. opposite day? Look, I would have missed this, guys. I would have missed this. Unacceptable. I would have missed this. And this. I hate that shit. That no point of no return. What? I would have missed this. I guess Qual was technically right, there was a gem up here, but there's something else in here too. What else are we missing? I don't know. I don't know guys. Not again. Not again. Not again. Maybe there's something over here. There's something over here. Man, I really want to play Silent Hill 1 again. Just to feel alive again, you know? Do some real puzzles. Feel alive. We should have a puzzle game marathon. We should play Silent Hill 1, and we should play Missionarium together. That'll be fun. Puzzle adventure. Oh, wait, wait, what? Why is it blue now? The hell? Horoscope difficulty? Yes. Absolutely. <clears throat> miss 2? No, it's not worth it. I checked the other miss games, Qua. It'll be a feels bad, man. They're cool games, but after the first one, it kind of loses its charm. The second one is so much bigger than the first qual. You would you would go insane playing that game. <laughs> oh. 
We have to play the first one again because uh because I messed up I got the I got the shit ending. And you guys were laughing at me. Clock Tower? I think we'll play that again. Maybe next Halloween. Should always play Clock Tower. It was fun. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid. And for the whole village. I think everyone's dead in the village, so it doesn't matter. Worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Bravo, Ethan. Bravo. You tell him, Ethan. You tell him. Okay, molds for days. For days. Call, did you see this? Guys, when we do our second playthrough, I'm making the FOV so <sighs> big, more? we're going to see behind our damn back facing forward. That's how crazy our FOV is going to be. I'm not going to miss anything. No one can flank us. It's going to be devastating. Koal, by the way, I need your help for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're playing Mega Man X. I can help. X. There's a mole for that door. So why does Magneto get like one of the biggest sections in the game? Because he's cool? Hey, it's Rufus. My brother told me that when they were advertising the game, they were making a big deal out of Lady D. Apparently, they said like they were playing it off like she was the main villain. Is that true, guys? They were like really hyping her up in the marketing. Is that true? That's just what my brother told me. I, I didn't spoil anything, so I never looked at any of the advertising, so... I didn't really know... Who she was. I didn't even know she was tall. It's more like the internet got hyped over Lady D. So they rolled with it? That sounds more realistic for it. Like, the internet got it and then they, they took advantage of it. And why was she so hype? Because she was a, f uh, a female Mr. X? It's one of those situations like, like Seth. Like everyone was complaining if Seth was the next new character. And everyone's like, oh, this is going to suck. And then they showed Seth. That Seth looked like a, a woman and then everyone got hype. <laughs> Remember that? I couldn't stop complaining about that. How fickle. That was so stupid, dude. Like, that just triggered me so bad. Welcome. Everyone's like, let's go! I just... 
You guys are idiots. Please do take a look at my new stock. <laughs> Bunch of clowns. <laughs> Okay, this is like nothing. Damn, what are we combining this bad boy with? Your coin. Still need to upgrade our shotgun, obviously. I wonder how much inventory space this is. Must be a lot. How, how big is our inventory? It's gotta be like almost full screen. Oh yes. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. We're getting dangerously close to magnum level damage with the shotgun. Have a wonderful adventure. Honestly, the pistol is so weak that I feel like we should have just sold the like just straight up power like not even buy this weapon keep the old pistol and just focus on shotgun next run we do just get shotgun and rifle up the par you know those are like the two power weapons and then pistol we just use for excess damage you can drop down here here what the hell what the hell I guess it, sh it shows it on the map, I guess, so. Oh god, so many mines. Wait, how do I get back up then? Oh, there's a zip. <sighs> supposed to go down there where, where did I come from I don't remember remember where I even came from anyways we're missing something here guys Shouldn't be hard to find. Smiley face. Should be super obvious. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Could be up here too, though. Uh, I probably need to get back on this platform. There's probably something on here. I think there was an eye on the spot you zipped to. That's what I was thinking too. I just like lost my bearings on where the hell I was. I still can't believe how long it took us to find that one gem, dude. That Kwasa, that was insane. I'm still like tripping out over it. So stupid. Jesus. 
So the rifle is OP until you get this shotgun specifically. Then there's like a giant power creep. Wait, this is where I came from. Why did I say that map was unexplored then? Alright, at least we know where we are now. We need to go back to that, that, uh, thingy for the mold. That press machine or whatever. And we need to, uh, mold that ball and mold, uh... Yeah, see, it's grayed out. What the hell? That thing calls it back up, I guess. It's midnight now, guys, but we're gonna finish this game tonight, no matter what, so... I apologize for going AFK for so long. No, we need to get this done. And then after Mega Man, we might play again. Which will be awesome. Okay, so it looks like we have to use the elevator to go back. So let's do that. Oh, wait. Were we on B4 or B1? Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just, I just want to be respectful to, to you guys because I know it's a weekday and I know, you know, it's really late, especially to the East Coast guys. That's all. So I try my best not to play too late, you know? But I just really want to finish this game. I, I was jon guys. When we were watching the, the CPT tournament last night, I was jonesing, jonesing to play. I was trying to find an excuse to play. Like it was like it was late after we were done playing Apex last night. It was like two in the morning, three in the morning, and I was thinking of of starting like a new file to like practice on the Village of Shadows, but I didn't do it. But I was tempted. Like I really wanted to play. Um It's dark. Wait, what? Oh, we're going back. It's dark now, okay. Why would he say it's dark? It's not gonna let this be easy, hey? Three shots now, three taps. That's what I'm talking about. you guys want to make first? Let's make the key. Make sure no asshole is sneaking up on us. Nice. And we got the ball. Where is it? Right here. This better be worth a lot of money, this labyrinth, man. We need it. Iron horse ball. Okay, we have no more molds. And we have two sets of doors. I might still look around though for any other secrets here. Just one second. 
I just want to see if these things are still caged. Hey, these guys are all missing. Oh. It's explaining where, how they came here. That's kind of cool. Nothing extra. I still can't believe how much money that that secret boss gave us for it in that field. That's just insane. Some homies here. That's one key in this area. And we gotta go back up there in that area too. Yeah, it was more for the secret than the challenge, you know? That's one good thing the rifle still has over the shotgun is the collateral factor, you know? Oh, here's the mechanical part. So, let's combine. Okay. Oh wait, that's his hammer. It's too heavy to use. Very valuable. That's kind of cool, I guess. Man, so many crafting materials. There's a door here, but it's barricaded. Operating room. Switch. There's more secrets in this area? Or is this where we're supposed to go? room looks safe. Super safe. Oh, it's from the door. Oh, it only stuns them for one thing? Whack. Damn it, I didn't block. Or at least now we know. We got three flashbangs left. We better craft a heal too, just in case. surgery. This is my 18th attempt. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy, 20 years old. How big was this village, dude? While drunk. Body is in good condition. <clears throat> Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Excellent. Godot has begun adhering to the nervous system. 
it's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Now to pass a current through the brain stem using 6,600 volts. Come on. It has to work this time. Yes. <laughs> yes! Ha 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 ha! Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that bitch yet. Ha 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 ha! Ending recording. What if what if Lady Miranda like re like listened to this recording? She'd be like, "Who are you talking about?" He'd be get, get, he'd get caught red-handed right here. Oh shit! Magnum barrel. More deeps. Increased firepower. Oh no! How much deeps? If I use this, it'll keep the two Magnum bullets in the chamber, right? It's at 1900 right now. This is gonna turn into that that uh, Joker pistol from the Tim Burton movie. You guys know what I want to talk about, where he, where he shoots down the bat plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways, it was 1900 damage. It looks exactly the same. Plus 200. I mean, eh. Hmm. It's like some secret hallway here. To my left. Does it look like it? Should I shoot one of these guys? Does anyone know what this is about? Let me look on one floor under. Yeah, it might be a different floor. It's it's grayed out, so I guess it's nothing to worry about. I think it's just showing that what's below it. Yeah, it is kind of weird. So this was all extra area, hey? That's kind of cool. At least I checked, because I remember that door. I was trying to remind myself about it. All right, let's go back up to the labyrinth. And there's that other key door on B1. So how do we get back up? Which way are we going? This way. Who's this? Oh my God. Turbo armor, man. Well, we can finally use these damn mines. Turbo armor, man. That actually did a lot of block damage if you think about it, since we got that block damage upgrade, right? So that was mad, mad deeps. Uh, do we still want to go this way? This is the fastest way back. I 
don't know if this is the fastest way back. Holy shit, maybe I should have gone this way. Cause the other way we could have went around is back through the the thing about it. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Let's bring down Rufus. You wish to make a purchase? No new stock. Perfect mechanical heart. Got two. Oh, that's definitely worth. Only 45,000 for this hammer? Splendid. Do you know it's worth? All right, guys, last shotgun upgrade. Mad Deep's 80 damage increase. Huge diminishing returns. But I think it's worth. I think it's worth. Huge diminishing returns, but I think worth. 91,000 though, that is too much. The pistol is just terrible. Magnum is a 200, and the rifle's power is maxed out. Mm. What? Ah, it's fine, all finished. I might as well go completely max deeps with this thing. Oh, excellent job. What's the total damage now? To hunger. Fourteen ten. Used to be alive. And faster fire rate. You can't even upgrade the fire rate. So I guess that'll be good against bosses. Thank you for your patronage. So Delta. All right, let's finish that labyrinth puzzle. Maybe we'll get some more money from that too. Or oh, not maybe, we know we are. Oh, I think that was B4. Right, we'll find out in a second here. Doesn't look like we're using a shotgun. B3 or B4, I forgot which one it was. I think it was B3. I think B4 was where we just were. Oops. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, this one actually has like difficulty to it. Physics time, yeah. Oh, I didn't even see where to go from there. Damn it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Shit, I did the same mistake twice. Have I uh, played the demo of a new fighting game? Pocket Bravery? No, I haven't. I never even heard of it. Is it good? Yeah? Imagine if you only had one chance. Dude, I keep messing up on that part over and over again. We need to do this though, we need the moolah. We need the moolah. Okay. I don't know, it just keeps pushing the ball in the other direction. I guess I gotta tilt it way, way earlier than I think I do. Lots of Street Fighter. KOF Info, that's cool. In real life, you can just drop the ball. No, we already, I already explained this, guys. It has a built-in magnetism system where it detects if the ball is being lifted and out of bounds. Can't cheat. I'm filling in the lore for you guys. No, that's how I was do this too early. Yeah. It's genius architecture. Alright. Attempt number 57. Okay. Here we go. Dude! It's hard. What makes this challenging is your limited amount of sight, right? It's not because you don't know where to move it. It's because you can't see. It's like an apex challenge. There we go, Jesus. Okay, well, watch out. Care. Okay, I can't see. I can't see, no, no, no. No, don't go back. Steady, steady, steady. Tap it in, just tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Okay, that one was good. Sister skull. Level up. Just tap it in. Okay, how much was that worth? If it's just lucky, window shop away. Only thirty? Ooh, where 
did you get your hands on such a thing? Why is he getting hype about it? Pay me no mind. I sold him way more expensive stuff. At this point, I mean... Might as well craft shotgun shells. Saw you eyeing that one. Till next we meet. Okay. So we got everything here. Oh, what's here? What did I what did I miss here? Here? This was right at the start. Don't tell me I missed a gem or something. I don't know. Must be a, a, a mechanical piece or something. If I go down here, will it be blue? Oh, it's gotta be something around here then. Right here. Perfect. What can we craft now? Completely out of rifle bullets. Shotgun seems to be the way to go now, though, because we have so much deeps from it. Look at all the shotgun shells we have now. This room too, we're missing something. What the hell? But that's it, though. I think everything else we're good. Okay, so what area is that now? It's one floor up. So I guess we go to B three. One floor up. Three. Be right back, guys. up how do we get back to that area guys finally operating room how do we get back there damn it
Did I screw up? What did I miss? I guess it's not a big deal if I can't find it. Pretty sure that operating room was like way back. It's always a big deal. I mean, my OCD can take it. But I want to go back to like every room trying to find it. I'll just remember for my next playthrough. Oh, it's right like it's right side by side with me, but it's like I don't know. Next playthrough, Slack. Next playthrough. We already missed a bunch of stuff already, so... Big important door. You really are a tough one. But I'm tired of chip chat. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Someone's waiting for you. Oh boy. Oh, nice sniper. Damn, we have like over a hundred handgun bullets? What the hell? Oh god, more mines, no. Not more mines. All he does is charge. Completely invincible head on. Well, they spelled invincible right this time. Oh, this this the stupid thing that's been uh, chasing us. Also, issue with overheating from running for long periods of time. Hint, hint. Okay. Thank you, game. Here we go again. Uh, I don't have time for this bullshit. Out of my way. What the hell? <laughs> Air man. <laughs> I've ever seen. Dude, I feel like I'm in Apex Arenas right now. Is this supposed to be challenging? Oh shit! Ah, I know I talk shit every time I talk shit. He's getting smarter.
Okay, hold on, there was an item somewhere. Where was it? Oh, here. What the hell? I just missed what happened. He's going ham! Shit, that hurt me a little bit too. Fuck, you can't see! And everything's on fire! Remember when I talked shit and I got hit? I hate it when he jukes me. I'm I'm worried that the the weapon I use to to punch shoot him in the back doesn't matter. I'm using the pistol now because I'm running low on shotgun shells. I bought so many too. I just gotta remember what the double whammy he does. Oh, good keeps! Looks like it does matter. Nice open room now. Nothing can go wrong. I can't believe this is happening. <gasps> See you later, you try. I mean, I could use the Magnum, but I'd rather use the Magnum for like absolute emergencies. 
Like, I've gotten hit by this guy a few times, but he's not that dangerous where I need to kill him fast. You know? I'm just gonna use pistol bullets. Yeah, this is pure Abigail. Well, what were you thinking when you fought this boss? Damn, I can't get an opening on him anymore. It's literally Aaron Man. Just the wind the, the window like to shoot him is so small. I think that was from the fire. Not from him. Shit. Okay, that was close. Doesn't help that the screen shakes like violently. So I can't even see what the hell he is. Let's use the grenade launcher though. We start might as well start using some of those rounds. Now stay down. <laughs> well, we use the grenade launcher. Put him out of his misery. Complex mechanical art. Okay, that was... That was really weird. Really weird. I feel like we used too many heals that fight. And we should restart, but whatever. Screw it. Oh, wait, this is where we came from. Make sure I got everything. Yeah, I did. Cigar. Just valuable? Oh, it's it's a Cuban cigar. That's so <laughs> so cliche. Why why is he so salty? She gave him superpowers and he has his own factory. I still don't understand what this guy's whining about. And what if she reads this? Then he's done. She took his dignity. I, anyone here in the chat would want Miranda to run experiments on them. So they can be Magneto too. No thanks. Come on, guys. Come on, guys.
Why are you saying that brat? Bro, she's literally a baby. Oh, nice heals. Oh, it's chem fluid, though. We can make a heal, though. We literally need that. Okay. <sighs> this area doesn't look like a battle arena. So I'm pretty impressed with how big the fourth area is in this game, including those, that cave area to get the thing in the first place. And then coming to this factory, combined, it's bigger than the castle at the starting. Pretty big. I mean, there's some backtracking and stuff, but overall it's bigger. What's the point of this then? No notes or something to read either? No. What the? Uh oh. Magneto. If he's this powerful, dude, we'd have no chance. I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. He's, why does he need to block the bullets? Can't he literally just control them? What? So he turned into Cybertron? Are the characters in this game better than the Metal Gear characters? Some are if they if they ex uh, expanded the lore a little bit. Again? Better than the Metal Gear Solid oh, Four bosses, that's for sure. It's like the Resident Evil thing is to make it run turn to a monster. Oh, it's my boy! Wait! I told you to leave it alone, Ethan! <laughs> Dude, Chris is so You're dumb. Way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed me? Oh, no. Here we go. That wasn't her. Of course. That's it. Miranda. What? Why didn't he just say that then? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Why didn't you just tell us that? Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. And what is this? Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. What? <laughs> this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. So it's easier to make me think you killed my wife so I wouldn't Why be involved us, then? What? What the hell is going on? 
Who wrote this? Kojima? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. He's gonna hit us with the wrench. Don't do it, Ethan. Wait, what? Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. <laughs> In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Fucking <laughs> Chris. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. I'm so confused. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. Might not be true. <laughs> what's, what's with Chris's side project machine? Take a here? look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda, keep looking. Rose, holy shit, we gotta go. Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. <laughs> but they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. I killed everybody else. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ethan. Well, that smile. And you take this, and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Oh, guys. The story is terrible. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Like the whole like that wasn't Mia thing was the most cliche, obvious possible plot they could have done. It really was. I can't. I, like, oh. We'll talk about it when we're done this game. But Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> it's brutal. Just brutal. Okay, uh... We... No, we didn't come from here. Ethan's, Ethan was holding the wrong gun? Yeah, because they didn't want to know... They didn't know which gun you would have by then. Wolf Squad. Hound Wolf Squad. Oh my god. Hound Wolf Squad? Why not Fox? She can transform herself to look like anyone or anything. Why? Why did she have to portray herself as Mia? She like what? What? What's the point of the the infiltration? She could literally just go in the house and blast me and just take the the kid. She didn't have to like sit down, act like she was pissed off at me because I was talking about the past and make soup. And read stories. Where's Mia though? Who cares? She pretended to be a corpse? Time to turn the tables. I, like I said, he's like, I didn't want you to get involved. So I pretended to kill and murder your wife and kidnap your child. That way you wouldn't want to be involved. Like, guys, what is this big brain shit? 
Like, this is some next level shit. Like, this story is... It's horrendous. It's fucking horrendous. Okay. We're looking for something here. It's still an awesome game, but... <laughs> the story is terrible. First aid, nice. He's too, yeah, he's too unga. There we go, now we got it. Uh, I guess we take the elevator because we came from under here, did we not? Yeah, we did. This story is so bad, it's enjoyable. Well, the, the 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 problem is, is that it's not trying to be hokey. It's it's unironically hokey. You know, like when you when you when you play other Resident Evil games, you know, they say they're cheesy one-liners and stuff, like a '90s action movie. But this is like it's trying to be serious. You know, like I said, we'll talk more about it when we uh, finish the game. What the hell's going on here, guys? That's not a tank. Wait, what? Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. But can't he control this thing? Oh my god, it is a tank. Oh no. What is this? I'm coming, Rose. Hold. Oh no. Oh no, baby game. Oh no. Can you feel the power? Oh no, guys, I'm depressed. This is so fucking stupid! Does every FPS game need, like, that part where you're operating a vehicle or a mech? Yes. I hate mechs, but that mech fight in MGS4 was pretty sick. Oh cool, we're out in the field? Oh, it's loading. The game's loading, it won't let me out. Oh, do I have to shoot it? Can probably blast the gate open. Let's do this! You're like a goddamn cockroach! Holy shit! You think you can take me on? Fuck! This will be my room before I kill that bitch. Let's settle this. Man, a man. <laughs> Your cards will be another addition to my army! Ha ha ha! He sure talks a lot. 
Ethan's not even saying anything. Said the thing, guys. Come on! Here we go, Ethan. The final stretch. Well, what do you think? It's hopeless, right? Just give up. Flesh and blood will never win against me. This isn't Dave and go Liar. It's Ethan and the Barney Demise. <laughs> Shit, my cover. Too bad I'm your only fan. Uh, oh. Is there something about behind him? Don't die like the world's watching. I think I just straight up shoot him, guys. Can I shove him? <laughs> Having fun? Yeah, they just shoot him. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, no school. Uh. Wait, what? Where is he going? Oh no! Oh <laughs> You really should have taken my deal! You will be blows in the afterlife! <laughs> Am I gonna you fly the tank? I'm not right after I murder <laughs> <laughs> this can't be the end for me! I must kill her! dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Watch out, that could be Miranda! Mia? Uh-oh. Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Miranda. Why are you using that cheap pistol? Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. 
Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. Uh oh. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was some good. That was some good dialogue. Rose will that was the most realistic dialogue possible. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. <laughs> However, that would have been me, guys. She will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Oh shit! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Did she just take out our heart? I will make sure to sample your blood for now. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> oh my god! I think we're finally dead. Unless we put that, uh, we pour the first aid stuff on top of us. The dreams really can. I can't wait to see my true child again. Man, Miranda's kind of OP. I don't know what Magneto was thinking how you can defeat her. She's a Tachi. Dude, that dude, that Heisenberg fight was too much. It was so stupid. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. That phone shouldn't when be able to detect to wreck, those gloves. Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. Is Ethan finally dead? God, Do I get to play Chris? Dead. Please, please be that. Would, that will redeem the story. If I don't have to play Ethan ever again. All of it. Please. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. I could use the smoke too, Chris. After Three listening to this story. Long. Three years been trying to fix this series. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Oh, please. Oh my god, do we get to play Chris, please? So BSAA got here already. <laughs> they didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? Come on! No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> We're going COD now? We're going dark? You're going Canine. dark. I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on. Bro. <laughs> In a while since oh, we've yeah. together, <laughs> Captain. When was the last? The desert? Oh. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. We are literally going dark, boys. No night vision? Oh, damn. Come on. Alright guys, this is this is as if I was designing the game now. Oh shit! Combat knife. 
Awesome. Oh, we got a targeting device. That's good for aerial assaults. Grenades. Medicine. Okay. Alright. What else do we have? No materials. Okay, Chris is kind of an asshole. This guy could have just teamed up. They could have used Ethan as a soldier. Didn't, didn't they say in the storyline they combat trained him? So what the fuck for? If he's, they're not going to let him fight. They could have helped him at so many times. Like, gave him ammunition and shit. No key items, no treasure. 400 bullets. That's for bosses, probably. Come on, this is all messed up. I need to change the shortcuts for this. So we'll put this under two. And the knife under one. And the targeting under four. Oh, oh yeah, V-Trigger one. I'm liking this. Dude, now the game is super hype now that we're playing Chris. Now we're hype. Damn, this game is long, man. Going dark. <laughs> oh my god, they literally turned this game to Call of Duty, man. I, I could just see them developing this game, and they're like, they're like, oh yeah, man. Americans love their army games. Let's, let's make an army game part. <laughs> you could tell. You know, that's what they did, guys. They're like, they're trying to get on that Call of Duty train. on that. my night vision goggles. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. Oh no. The game's easy mode now with Chris. I'm literally playing Apex now. Does it tell us the power level of these weapons? Dragoon. It's an AK. Looks like an AK. Yeah, it's an modified AK. This is the pistol I think Chris used to blast our fake life. Western rat is clear, moving out. Roger that. Dude, this is like. I feel like I'm playing a DLC right now. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Dude, they're cracking jokes on a horror game. Okay, we got flashbangs. And grenades. I want that sniper rifle, though. I can't even open the map. What was going through your guys' heads when you guys saw this part of the game? <laughs> you guys must have been pretty damn confused. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably one of the Whoa, the game just went into two FPS. Let's go. What the hell? You guys remember when Ethan got his heart ripped out? 
Chris is too badass. To Do you guys imagine if Chris like gave Ethan some equipment? Damn it, the pass blocked. No worries. Detour around the village. He just took down two werewolves like they're nothing. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Actually, I'm gonna equip the flashbangs to Salat one. Because we don't have any use Under here, them. leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. More supplies? Holy shit! What the fuck is this? What the fuck? We have so much shit! We're jacked on loot! Going dark. Oh, not going dark. This is literally like if me, Mir, and Blade dropped an apex into this village. This is exactly what happened. This is amazing. Guys, this is amazing. I'm so happy I'm not Ethan anymore. Umberize, I need some backup. These lichens stand no chance. We have superior firepower. We're on hardcore. And we're making this feel like it's on standard. So let me backtrack one second. Let's see what that other spot was for. Blocks your path. Green means loot. Going dark. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this section. I've never heard of a mutamycete colony coming so huge. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, is that guy okay? You gotta make the, the enemies faster in this game, man. They're too slow.
Got hammer point rounds. No. I hope Ethan never comes back. I hope that's their way of getting rid of that character, please. Dude, he he got his heart ripped out. Okay, I know there's like he reattaches his arms and shit with first aid, but like, come on man. Do I have any grenades left? Yeah, I got one. Oh, what? He hit me through the other guy? That's whack. damage from that holy shit In the target. Oh yeah! That, boss. Going dark. Bingo. All right. That was reloading cool. now. Just a minute. It's a small pity <gasps> that way. Oh. Flashbangs? Let's see for grenades. Suck on this! More supplies! Holy shit! I'm jacked! Oh, shit! 
spent all my grenades. I was having too much fun. Damn it, Chris! No target yet? Please don't tell me the locator's busted. I'm on my way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I got a bad feeling about this. Guys, we blew up the cemetery. The village is gone. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Question mark? How many hours into the game am, am I? Like, over 15? Like an insane amount. This game has everything. It literally has every type of gameplay you would want. It's there's something for everybody. <laughs> oh my god. It really has everything. Well, if Capcom wanted to make a Call of Duty game, now let me know what it would be like. <laughs> That's Kojima writing, true, true. Oh shit! Starting the Mega Mice huh? Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. Boss, you're on the ground. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Hold on till I get there. Oh, it's back. It's back's the weak point. This equipment so bad. Oh. What? 
He juked me. Why does it take so long to laser target? That's not how it works in real life. I'll keep going. Giant rest of you, crystal stay above Wait, why do I need money? Oh no, please. Please don't mean that it means Ethan's still alive. Please no. No. Keep it like this, forever. I just want to play Chris. Chris is so much more fun. Oh. I want it to be Call of Duty. Going dark. Please no. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any Who cares? For her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Going dark, boys. Okay, not going dark. I found it. It's the Megamycete. <laughs> Guys, think about all this shit Chris Alpha has squad. seen up to this point. I've located the Megamycene. He's not even phased. Now we can end this mess after all. About they need to bring time. Wesker back, man. Just for the memes. <sighs> That'd be awesome. And two explosives aren't. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. Yeah. I'm not taking any more chances. Good idea. I'm going in. Alone. That? Standing by. <laughs> they don't even care. Don't even think. I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. I'm going in. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. <laughs> there wasn't time. We there wasn't time. Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Bro. This story is so cringe. Oh my god. You could have told us when, when we met up in the lake, in the mill? Holy shit, dude. The writing is just... This game's a fucking masterpiece, man. This game's a masterpiece. Look, guys. What does this look like to you? You guys should have told me this game was going to turn to Call of Duty. That's so awesome. This must be Miranda's lab. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Yeah, we figured that much out. You didn't know that? What's this? Oh no. That's that's very little amount of text for a giant book. Oh, that's the the caustic. Causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. He's unable to control it? Well that was convenient then. When he morphed. Okay, let's check out Magneto. Who's this? Is this is Donna. No, this is this is Big D. Most favorable. High regeneration rate. Grow her nails in the claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. That doesn't make any sense. That makes zero sense. Due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis. I mean, honestly, guys, this is still a better excuse than nano machines. Honestly. It's still a better excuse than nano machines. I'll take it. I'll take it. I want to know about Donna, though. Donna's the most interesting character. Uh, Magneto? I don't care about Magneto. 
Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. I don't know what that is. Can therefore pass and control electricity through the entire body. Allow control of magnetic fields. He literally is Magneto. He's literally Magneto. And he got defeated. Donna's the most BS. I want to know about Donna. All right, here's Donna. Okay, Donna. Normal. She has severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. She can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected. But a, what the hell is this thing called? Mutomycete? When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her gadol among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel. I mean, it was it was obvious that she was uh, halluc where it was hallucinating. Were there plants around the dollhouse? Qual, here's your explanation though. They say you don't explain it. <laughs> Qual's just salty, dude. This is we were hallucin hallucinating is better than make needle. There were flowers. There were flowers around. No. You guys have to remember. Ethan started hallucinating the second. Because there is there is all the flowers around the gravestone, right? But Ethan started hallucinating the second he opened the gate and saw Mia. That's when he started hallucinating. So, I see what like what Jews is saying. Those flowers. He was already hallucinating by that point though, because he saw Mia. Remember? So I don't understand. But yeah, I mean there was a lot of pollen and stuff. I don't know. I thought Donna was the coolest character. Too bad we don't know anything about her. Now Claw's trying to write the script. The four of them can be the X-Men? Oh, most deaf, for sure. Yo, be right back. Okay, I'm I, like like I said, this is like the the whole virus thing is like the MacGuffin for, it's like the nano machines, you know, it's like nano machines. Nano machines make super abilities, and the, in this game they really wanted to do like supernatural like stuff, and they just made an excuse for it. I don't know. Like I'm fine with this, but I just wish they just expanded more on these these four bosses, you know. But we'll talk about it when we finish the game. Who's that? Is that Miranda? Oops. It's okay, I have like near infinite ammo anyways. Those photos are from RE7? I don't remember. It's been too long. Everyone looks like they're having a good time though. My deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. Oh no, the village. Medical student in the snow. What? Positively visionary. Oh my god. Mm, who the hell is this? 
Oh no! No! The progenitor virus! <laughs> oh no! Resident Evil 5! I plan to start a comp- Oh no! Retcon! Oh no! <laughs> Retcon City! Retcon Nation! Oh my god, dude. Is this fucking Spencer? You taught me so much and for that- oh, Since <laughs> your life lost- <laughs> Oh my god. Koala, cool. what was going through your head when you read this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. It was okay. Spencer, here. No way. That's my boy. That's my boy. So, uh... This game is like the, the MGS4 of the Resident Evil series. That's funny. Oh no, more lore. Oh no, Eva. And I found I found it by accident. <laughs> okay, this is this is too much. She created the parasite. So Miranda was originally a scientist? Holy shit. She turned into a scientist after the found founding the mold. Got it. Everyone's a scientist. She was born before the 1900s. Eventually became a scientist. Got it. Because she needed to understand more shit, right? She was like Kojima when Kojima needed to learn more. Taking more control of games so he, he learned more game design, right? Interesting. Hey, man. When, you, when you're immortal, you have all the time in the world to learn. You know? Could you- <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Claw. Okay, that- that room was the room of lore. Oh, don't tell me that's the Show real- Show hands! Yeah. Um, Bryce, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Does she have an attitude? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? We're gonna have to put her down. I was caught. Leave no trace. Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! So, oh wait. You said that you would keep us safe. So is she actually a bitch or not? We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. 
So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? They're fine. Go on. Ethan got his heart ripped out and Rose got disassembled into four I jars. Save him, but I can save Rose. You could have saved him, Chris. What is that option select? Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand. No! No! <laughs> no, the plot armor is OP. The fucking plot armor. No, please. I don't want to play Ethan again. No! No! No, no more. Where's his fucking What's heart? going on? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's there. It's cold. Fuck. How did I get here? Dude, if Warren got his heart ripped out, he would die. He would die. Freeze. This shit in my body. You're so dumb. Hey, it's Eve. Ellen, how are you here? I hope so. Dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Uh. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, uh, See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? <laughs> Catcombs trying to cover their tracks. No. Messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. What the hell is going on? You get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Rose, I have to 
save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> 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 I, I will save Rose. <sighs> oh, no. That was a long ass little time. Uh, oh, is Rufus with us? At last, he <laughs> wakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Uh, uh, Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. I need I need ammo. I need Take weapons. Me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is Yeah, guns. Well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. The Duke's Miranda. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Oh, save? Yeah. I have to be. Oh, we're just back in the village. I gotta go. Okay, we got ammo. Can I use the shot? Just this creepy horse. Wait, where did Rufus go? I can't buy items? Oh, there he is. He's just chilling. Naturally. Uh. That was 45k? Holy shit. That was 60k? Holy shit. What was the point of grabbing the damn cigar? I don't understand this shit. All right, guys. This might be the oh, last time. The assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Okay, this is our last time we probably get to use the shop. So. Choose wisely. Your life may depend on it. We have to go in hot or not at all. Ooh, Fifteen. That's a huge upgrade. Three hundred damage deeps. Holy shit. What the hell is with these upgrades? 110,000. No way, definitely rifle. What kind of attachments we have? Got more rifle bullets available. Custom long barrel. For V61? For our handgun? Greatly increases firepower. By how much? Amat Victoria Koram. Okay, hold on. Let's see how much the pistol is. Uh, 200 deeps. Okay, let me save real quick. Please, be well. Thanks. Do you have sufficient weapons and items? How much was it again? 200 deeps. And then... Oh, excellent. Okay. This may be our last meeting. 25? Sure all you need. 
Maybe it's a multiplier? No. No, 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 no. No. These attachments suck. Yeah, when we play Village of Shadows, handgun is doo doo baby. We already spent all our money on shotgun and rifle. Rifle for sure. That's a no brainer. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Let's see. Magnum, 200 extra damage. This is 120. I mean, we're gonna have to blow our load pretty soon on Magnum here. Let's go one magnum. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, it's fine. All finished. Oh damn! Just short a little bit. Your journey nears its end. Anything that we can sell, we get enough for the to finish shotgun. it off. Let me sell these flash mains. That's only five hundred, though. Oh well. This is goodbye, Mister Winter. They really want me to know, hey? Okay, is there anything else we can explore? Man, it won't even let me run. Well, at least it wants me to control the damn map. Chris could at least did an airdrop for us. Oh, right here. Okay, we're jacked on loot. Let's make sure there's nothing hidden in here. Why are we moving so slow? I'm dying? Heart gone? I mean... That's a pretty good reason. Out of my way! Dude, they're gonna get triple col collateral again? Oh, they didn't drop money. I gotta keep going. Ah, uh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. She found the perfect vessel. Something's wrong. Oh no. Oh no. My power is leaving me. Rose! Her power is leaving her. Uh oh. Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. You say this now? Give Rose to me. No! Why does he always have that stupid pistol? Once I kill you properly, everything. Oh my god! Is that Chris? He just shot her in the head. Let go! Let go, you bitch. I spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Gigantic 
Gigantic last boss. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. She's Tree Lady. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megalites. Now, please do not worry, the little rose. She has a Fisher attack. I assure attack. you, I'll provide her with true purpose. So now you can die peacefully. Not let you get away. Here I come. Please, Mr. Winters, stop struggling. I shall finish this. What the fuck? Don't resist. You understand the love of a parent to a child, don't you? How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? Oh shit, there are a lot of deeps. I shall put you to rest. Oh damn. Those scopes really inaccurate. Why does he have to say that? Oh shit! I will not have him or anyone else in Rose or my After all, everyone dies. I can take any form I desire. Rest. Lit. I'll take wonderful care. I couldn't block it, I didn't have enough health to block it. Okay, so I think when when she when she goes in the air to do that big uh, fireball attack, I'll use the grenade launcher. Cause it looks like you need to burst her down before she does it, because that's what did most of the damage was. I'm doing no damage? I don't know, it looks like I almost beat her. Come to me. Magnum? Yeah, I could use the Magnum too. Do I skip this shit? You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Williams. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamites. Now, please do not worry, little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with truth. 
So now you can die peacefully. You understand the level of appearance. Do not let me get away. How can you deny me? Why the hell? Ching! Seven bullets just like oh, can't that. You realize Rose is my goddamn The Metamite not yours. saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Oh, I see. I did destroy that shit. Looks like. Apex, I can't see anything. Die, 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 die. <laughs> I understand your feelings, Mr. Rogers. But this is the end. If I combine Rose with a Megamycete, my daughter will be made manifest at last. Fuck. I've waited a second. Oh, dude. Should have reloaded first. Let's get that magnum back. Damn it! Oh, I missed. Okay, good. So I got to shoot more in the center of the area. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho. Cease. Come on, big deeps here. You walking corpse. Last bullet. He takes out the knife. To ensure I never see Oh, I got my Megan back. I will feed you to the nerves. Every single Wait, what? I can't heal and I can't block. What? She just took 20 Magnum rounds. My daughter! My Eva! Guys, we saved the Magnum. <laughs> Literally every bullet we saved for the final battle we blew our load <laughs> guys we literally used every magnum round we had Rose. why does the baby look so clean it's, it's all right Rose. it's all right Oh, no. Oh, at least show us what Ethan looks like. Where's Chris? Ethan! Ethan! Ethan, how are you alive? Come on, Ethan, wake up. Oh, no. 
Oh shit. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Wait, if Ethan can regenerate, why didn't his fingers grow back when they got bit off? That makes no sense. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. What do you mean he, he couldn't reattach him? He didn't reattach his heart. Alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. Can you tell yourself? Yeah, <laughs> dude, that on, is a, that's that a 90s brother. movie meme. You tell yourself. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. Oh shit. Okay, good. Goodbye, Rosemary. They're finally getting rid of Ethan. Thank God. Ethan. He's not coming back, Mary. This is it. This is the end of Ethan's story. His arc is beyond done. His arc is beyond finished. Can I be the one who pulls the trigger, please? Please let me do it. No boom, cause no, cause it was from his perspective slack. Just Wait. darkness. Where is Ethan? It's supposed to be realistic. Get moving. We have to get clear. No. Well, we're we gonna see the boom go here. Not actually. Without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me. Whoa, misogyny. Is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Down. Where is he? Chris. Why I care about you. He's gone. <laughs> Try. Chris, come on, bro. He stayed so we These crocodile stay. tears. Come on, bro. I'm sorry. Chris, you didn't even yeah. try. You need to see this. You let the dude go in with just a knife. No, he yes, didn't even have a knife when he started. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Wait, what? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSA at Europe HQ. I'm gonna need a Resident Evil 8 story explained YouTube video after this. Gotta get immersed. Someone's gotta pay. <laughs> so it's gonna be, dude. The story is so like. Well, at least they can wrap this part up. So, 
<laughs> Was it Kino? <laughs> There's another cutscene? What do you mean that's not it? It's literally showing the credits, guys. What's with this Tim Burton shit? Oh, I was at the start of the game. It, it's telling like a short story of the of the entire game, kind of. Does Capcom even make anything but Ari and Street Fighter anymore? Yeah, something called Monster Hunter. It's small time though. Dude, so many things to talk about in this game. Yeah, Village of Shadows? Yeah, I definitely want to play it again on Village of Shadows. But damn, the last weapon upgrades are so late in the game. You're essentially buying them to prepare yourself for the last boss, basically. There's an after crash? Yeah, that's what everyone tells me. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Mia did nothing. In this story, the Even mother is literally that, Chris. The forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, oh my god, more credits? Did I see the mods? No, I didn't want to spoil anything. Don't look at the credits as spoilers? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Why am I gonna see Kojima somewhere? You can skip this part. We shouldn't, guys. It's tradition that we always watch the credits. We played over 200 retro games, and we've never skipped the credits. Even Echo, we watched the credits. This game took me like 15 hours to beat. It deserves the extra minute to watch the credits. Most of the things I want to talk about this game is, is the gameplay though. Guys, I don't know anything about RE4, so it doesn't mean anything to me. This means nothing to me. 
just hollow. I can't be spoiled if I don't know what's going on. Man, there's a lot of people that worked on this game. Who worked on the spell checking and the dialogue? Yo, did you guys see the the mocap videos for this game? They released it on YouTube. They're awesome. I love that watching that shit. It's cool. Cold Veronica is the best RE. Cold Veronica is godlike, dude. The game is really good. I love that game. Healed the little girl. That was nice of them. getting sick. Oh man, the testers. The testers, man. Never heard of even like half these companies. Capcom. Another year, guys. Another Resident Evil game done. I can't wait for next year. Alright, let's see this post credit stuff. Hey, what's up, Tom? Hold on, Tom. Spoilers. Wait, how does she have the book? That makes no sense. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Wait, that's not Mia. He can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a cute thing. It does. But it's Oh no. She's gonna visit Ethan's grave. Oh no. Oh no, get in the fields. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. 
I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. She has no idea what Ethan went through. Is that Chris? Oh my Don't god. Goddamn devil. Oh no, it's Chris. Duty calls. I love you. Please tell me this is not the next main character. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't Whoa! You ever call me that again? Misogyny. Oh, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Whoa! The guy is just trying to do his job. Stand down. I can handle it. That guy's beta. He's just a kid. I need to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Do I really want the next Street Fighter to use this engine? Hundred percent. It is the greatest engine ever created. I would set it would make Street Fighter the best looking fighting game there is. By far. Nothing would come close. Dude, this game on the lowest graphic settings. Looks better than 90% of the games out there. On the lowest graphic settings. Just because the engine alone. Don't even try to argue with me on this. So yeah, man. I mean, let me just give my thoughts real quick here. I know it's super late, guys. But I guess we'll talk about it more tomorrow. About the game. But overall, I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was awesome. Uh, the, the game was huge in scope. They add a lot of cool things. It's not perfect. The weakest part is definitely the story and the dialogue. By far, is the weakest part of the game. They could definitely couldn't improve in that areas. Uh, the things I liked the most uh, that they added was the whole shop upgrading system. I liked it. Uh, the enemy variety was a huge step up. The puzzles were a slight step up from RE7, but they're still really, really easy. Stupidly easy. Uh, uh, Max says it was the best RE story. And the other RE story games must have really bad stories then. I mean, like I said, RE, Resident Evil was never really like a story. It's more of a gameplay game, right? It's all about the gameplay. That's why I want to talk more about gameplay stuff, you know. But I feel like when we talk about the story, like I feel like the bosses could have been fleshed out way more and they could have explained way more about them to make them way more interesting. You know? I didn't watch all the advertisements games because I didn't want anything spoiled, but the whole witch part and, and Lady D and all that, I think could have been fleshed a lot more. There could have been a potential a lot of interesting story. But instead, we're like, I was just, you know, destroying those three witches like they were nothing. I don't know anything about them. You know? I thought the Donna character was pretty cool too. But there was like, you don't really learn anything about her, you know? I just kind of got like... It was kind of like MGS4 bosses, basically, you know? There, It could have been... It could be done in a short way and still be impactful. Like, in MGS1, I felt it was more impactful. Or the way the bosses were done there. And they still have really little time to explain the story. But it, I guess it has to do with the dialogue, right? The dialogue is really important. What the bosses say to you and how they talk to you. They did it all with... I know... Compared to MGS1 is a big thing because it's, MGS1 is a very story-driven game. But, like, just dialogue alone can really help that, you know? But, yeah, the puzzles definitely need to be cranked up. The puzzles in this game are are just... They are, they're insulting. They're so, they're so easy, it's insulting. To, like... I feel like the difficulty should at least uh, raise the difficulty on the puzzles. Because the, the puzzles are so easy because... There's a puzzle, and then there's a note that literally tells you 
how to do the puzzle. Like it just it just lays it out for you. The piano puzzle by by far was the stupidest puzzle in the game. It's just there's no payoff. So if there's no payoff, there's no point in doing it, right? Some of the coolest ones maybe is the five bells was interesting. You know, I don't like it's just it's really annoying because cause like there's so many things like I I want to compare it to Silent Hill one. You know, there's like literally notes that are they like they tell you str it's not even like. Usually when there's a hint on how to do a puzzle, it's a story, right? And we can go off previous Resident Evil games. They'll tell a story that's something that doesn't seem related to the puzzle, but it is. You gotta read between the lines kind of thing, right? Even with Resident Evil 1 with the picture, the whole picture puzzle from Res OG Resident Evil 1, right, is a perfect example of that. This game is not like that. This game is like, do this, then this, then this, then this. That's how you do it. You know, and like, there's, 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 there's something in the keys which you have to search. And it's just like... I don't know. It's just insulting. Yeah, look out the window. You know, just like, what's the point then? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's like literally having somebody in your Twitch chat that spoils the puzzle for you in the game. Like they took the note and wrote it down for you and put it in the game. That's what it feels like. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just not satisfying. I like the puzzles, man. They really need to crank it up. It's really annoying, how dumb and easy the puzzles are. There are some cool ones, and it still is an improvement over 7. But they're still so, so far. And they're so scared of people getting frustrated and stuck. But there still needs to be a payoff, you know? And like I said, the easy thing is just to make the difficulty ramp up the puzzles. That's all you have to do. Just ramp it up. It's, it's you know, yeah, it's they're trying to water down the game. What the, I mean, I understand that they need to, to you know the lowest common denominator right they can they they're trying to make it so everyone can play right everyone you know has a chance at all these puzzles stuff. but that's why we have difficulty right just change the difficulty just make the puzzles be effective difficult there's so many ways to improve all the puzzles like for example like okay let's take the bell puzzle that's one of the best puzzles in the game okay because it actually requires like two seconds of brain activity there's a picture that literally says ring the five bells it's like fuck off i can figure that out myself you could just show a picture of five golden bells on the picture you don't have to say anything not a word and that's enough information that you need you know that's it like the piano puzzle could be easily solved too you can have one you can have one music chart that shows when you hit the keys where the notes are and then it doesn't show you where the notes are anymore and then now you understand where each key like a real piano works. Boom. Done. Easy. You know? Every puzzle can be improved in some way just in this game alone. But that's my biggest complaint. And, of course, the dialogue in the story. The dialogue in this game is terrible. It's some of the worst dialogue ever. Though Everything Ethan says is just... It's not even cheesy. It just... I don't know. He just keeps repeating himself, basically. You know? And when the dialogue's bad, it just not makes you care about the characters. What they say and how they act, right? Because it's really unnatural. And it makes the, the bosses and the characters really, like, you know, two-dimensional. Or one-dimensional. Ethan's... Well, you can't even say Ethan's a dog shit character. He's not even a character. You know? And, and by the way, guys, it sounds like I'm complaining a lot about this game. But, like I said, I love this game. This game is awesome. We're going to play it again. This game is really, really good. It's just that it could just, it's so close to being, like, really good if they just go further on this on the points the the art team the art team the scenery team everyone that did all the like the the detail in this game they went above and beyond way more than everybody else you know they, this this game is disgustingly beautiful it's it's insane how beautiful this game is dude the re engine it's the bomb it's the bomb and for gameplay wise like i said the shop is really cool but the problem with the shop is that uh, you you don't you never really have to make a choice until the very end of the game on what you want to upgrade, and that's and by that point you don't even, it doesn't even matter. The magneto fight you don't even use your guns. You know what I mean? Half the time you're in a fucking tank you don't even use the weapons you upgrade, so there's no choice there. You know, and the weapons you use there's a power creep where you sell them and you have to upgrade them to new ones anyways, because you're getting better guns. And you're just no, there's no real choice until the last 10% of the game, which is unfortunate. I want there to be choice immediately. Like, like this run, I'm going to focus on pistol. This time I play the game, I'm going to focus on shotgun, that kind of shit. 
would have been way better. Uh, the side quest stuff is um, is really awesome, the exploring, but the, the reward for doing it isn't interesting. Like, getting more money and stuff is cool because it rewards you. It rewards you for exploring, but it's not, it's not, it's not interesting, right? It would have been better if it was hidden attachments, hidden weapons, things that you can find for doing that. It would make people want to explore more, not just more gold. So they could have improved that as well. Uh, yeah, just like it, it just could be improved in every single area. Um, you know, I know this is the Japanese dev, but the the controls are completely ancient for an FPS game. Everything, it, the movement and all that feels very weird. Uh, the like everything, the 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 crouching, they don't even have a hold to crouch. <laughs> the there's no FOV slider. It's very ancient controls. Uh. It's a horror game, not an FPS game. Uh, like I said, they did. They tried to have a lot of variety of gameplay and gameplay elements. I feel like there's still too many scripted chase moments, which uh, gets dry really fast, especially after you play, beat the game once. They could be more annoying than. But I mean, there's just so much variety. I guess I can't really complain too much about that. Um, and the game is a little too easy. That's another thing. The game is a little too easy. Like I said, I called that shit when we played the game and started. I said that the first 10 minutes was going to be the hardest part of the game, and it was. It was so easy to tell. After you have a weapon, and you actually have ammo and stuff, the game is way too easy. Even on hardcore. So we'll play Village of Shadows, and I'm going to assume Village of Shadows is going to be easy too. It's just, everything's going to be a bullet sponge, you know what I mean? And to me, that's not really difficulty. That's just, like, annoying, you know? Real challenge, like, what they should have did, instead of making the monsters have more health, make you have less... Make make it so you have less ammo. Do it the other way around. That would make it more interesting, you know? Because you kill the enemies fast, but you have to decide when it's worth shooting and whatnot, right? Make the, make the money more scarce. Make the ammo more scarce. Make the healings more scarce. That kind of thing. That way you still have the horror element. Because... The, one of the, the best parts of the game is actually the first 10 minutes because we have all these environmental things. We have flour, we have barricades, right? We have exploding barrels. And there is some environmental stuff near the end of the game, but at that point, you're so fucking powerful. It doesn't even matter, right? And there, you're, you're so... I'm not scared. The monsters, the enemies in this game move way too slow, right? Way too slow. And I do understand that not everyone's playing on PC like me because playing on PC gives me a huge advantage, right? Mouse and keyboard, I'm going to have a massive advantage over people that use controller, right? Especially with like using sniper rifle and things like that. But the, still, the enemies move way too slow. They're way too slow. The block is way too powerful. Blocking, you take almost no damage. They added a shove mechanic, right? I'm, I, I can kill enemies so far away with one shot, even on hardcore, for upgrading my guns. And in, in Village of Shadows, we're going to know exactly what guns to use and exactly what to buy and all that. Even on controller, it was easy, Qua. You played on controller? So I, I just feel like Catcom is just real. They just really want. They're really scared. People get fresh to the game, but it, it's really weird because, like I said, the the first ten minutes, the rules aren't clear. That whole time sequence, they don't explain you anything. You know what I mean? You don't know what's going on, and that's why it's hard because you don't know what you're supposed to do, and you have to use every environmental thing at your disposal to survive. And that is like one of the most fun parts of the game, because it's hard, right? There's that challenge, you're actually scared, and you you have to think. You have to, like, use everything the game gives you, you know? And after that point, you don't really need it anymore. You're just so powerful. It's a frustrating sequence, but there's, like, a huge payoff when you succeed. You know what I'm saying, Anna? Like, once you understand the rules and understand what you're supposed to do, it's fun. Because you're, like, you have a plan. In the Village of Shadows, we're going to have to plan it out, too, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess if you're, like, the, if you're like the average Joe... And you're not you don't play too many fps games you would definitely find some challenge to it but i just feel like they're going with the challenge in a different way like i said the, the village of shadows thing i i guarantee when we're playing there's gonna it's gonna be bullet sponge city and it's just gonna be more annoying than anything you know uh but yeah like i said i just want to make it clear again guys i think this game is awesome i would recommend it and we're definitely gonna play it again i enjoyed it a lot this is an awesome game it's just I just want it to be perfect, you know? There's so many easy fixes that I can see with it.
but I don't play too many mainstream games, you know, modern games these days, so maybe I'm just out of the loop and this is how things are now. I don't know. Maybe we've been playing too much retro. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Anything you guys want to add? <laughs> I found an article that says, which are the differences between difficulties? Do you want to know? Yeah, sure. Tell me. It's fine. We beat the game. It's probably going to be monster damage. For sure. It's going to be like through the roof. We probably, we're probably going to lose uh, checkpoints. Hopefully. There's going to be FPS RE. I guarantee you, Quad, the, in RE9, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Rose. You're going to play as Rose, guaranteed. Okay, the, the, see, that's why the monsters being played somewhere else is good. Because in RE3 Remake, one of the coolest things was the first beginning part of the game. They, they like completely changed around everything, but then it, it seemed mostly the same. After the first 20% of the game. It's really weird, man. It's like they didn't have enough time. Supposedly this game has New Game Plus, so you can actually do dedicated weapon runs and mix stuff up. Yeah, but we're going to do Village of Shadows on a fresh file for sure. Like, we want no advantage at all. Because that would be just snooze. There's people running around playing it with, like, infinite magnum shots. Like, what the hell is the fun in that? We're going to do New Game Plus. We're, we're going to do fresh file... Village of Shadows. That's what we're going to do. We'll probably do it on Thursday. Yeah, I'm doing Infinite Dragoon. <laughs> well, you're a soldier, Gutter. As long as you're enjoying it, man. As long as you're enjoying it, bro. You do you. You do you. Checkpoints are in different places. Have fewer numbers. So that's good. There shouldn't even be checkpoints. Honestly, there shouldn't even be checkpoints on Village of Shadows. There should be no checkpoints. There should be ink ribbons. Alright, I'm excited to start it, guys. We're, we're gonna try it hardcore. We'll see. I just have a feeling we're gonna fight a boss for like one hour. And it won't die because it has so much health, you know? But look, we gotta, I gotta mess around this mercenary mode to take pay attention to the, the health bars and everything. I understand how it works. The monsters drop more money in shadows? I hope so. But then we make you super powerful again, you know? Yeah. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the run. It was super fun. It took us over 15 hours. We definitely got our money's worth. We took our sweet ass time with this game. And we still miss some things. But on our next run, we won't miss a damn thing. So we're going to play it again. It'll be a lot faster. Unless Village of Shadows is insanely hard. But we'll skip the cutscenes next time. We're just going to hammer through it. Fresh file. And we'll go through this again.